All right, welcome to The Bracket, episode 67. Today, we are doing the most addictive things, not counting drugs. And drugs includes alcohol in this case. Uh, today, we don't have... Uh, che- Tommy's out storm chasing. Uh, che is at, in Indianapolis, I believe, for the Combine. And Francis is out. I think he had major surgery. Francis? Yeah. I think he got, what? Yeah, I think he had to get like something crazy. I forget what it was, like an appendectomy. No, no, no. He was cut from Mean Girl Pod. <laughs> that was it. That's oh, what, gotcha. that's the cut. That was the uh, cut. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but yeah, no Francis, but instead we got Mush, we got Robbie Fox for the first time, and we got Rudy back. What's up? Yeah, we're, so I think we have a good crew to determine what the most addictive thing is. Are you guys are. addicted? You're addicted to nicotine, right? Yeah. Um, Lemmer's addicted to booze. He's booze. not here, but... Um, I, I, dude, I've been on a... I've been candy mode lately i think that candy. might be my you're addicted to knives dude oh yeah oh, addicted to knives yeah lifesavers love, for me love take fives man yeah you love take fives do you have yeah, one a that's day? the pretzel one right yeah yeah oh yeah. good i don't like uh i don't like salt and sweet together what fucking crazy Ooh, like what everyone likes yeah it's like salt the best it's almost not possible i don't think i like chocolate that, that, you're just that making it worse he's no, just yeah straight <laughs> chocolate's kind of iffy like a Hershey's right. bar is the most. You know, like a good like Hershey's is kiss. The most yeah, boring thing in the world. I love a Hershey's bar. I think it's just like eh. You ever have a Hershey S'mores bar? You'll, you'll be at like the good. impulse section, the impulse buy of like a oh. Dwayne Reed, and you'll Can pick out a, you'll pick out just a plain Hershey. Yeah, Never. that's crazy. You're crazy. nutty. Yeah, I will. Like not a no, no nuts. No nuts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're the the opposite <laughs> of. Like you would pick like a a Hershey bar over a Snickers or a Milky Way. Like if it was those right in front of you. Over those, if you offer me those three, yeah, but like if I'm on the checkout, I'll get a Kit Kat or like a Milky Way Midnight. Kit Kat's the way to go. Yeah. Uh, is Chocolate the bars. first answer, yeah. I think. I believe yeah. Kit Kat counts under the sweet and salty. There's like the salty wafer, no? That's you, are, you are a, you are <laughs> mentally <laughs> challenged. <laughs> that ain't salty. <laughs> Unless yeah. you take salty <laughs> wafer. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this Kit Kat's making me thirsty. <laughs> That's what happens when Tommy's not here. <laughs> Tommy would have said that. Oh my yeah. god. Ken Jack's fucking Kit Kat has salty. Salt have fucking Frank salt packets. <laughs> put it on your Kit Kats. <laughs> when Tommy's not here, the autism just transfers right <laughs> to you. Ooh. Oh. This oh. Kit Kat. <laughs> Need something salty. <laughs> Need a beer to <laughs> Uh, okay, our first matchup of the day, uh, 12 seed. This is from Nate. I think it's actually a really good suggestion. Um, when you're a kid, sledding down a hill. Just because, when you think about it, when you sled... <laughs> no, it's no, wait, 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 wait. First wait. of all, Nate this was, Nate was pushed no, this, <laughs> every this single way. time. No. Just wait. Just wait. Think about when you sled down a hill on a snowy day, whatever it is. You go up that hill more times than your stamina should ever allow you to do. You actually didn't never... You never intentionally slide down a hill once. You, what do you mean exactly? Like, you'll go again. Yeah, well, that's... Yeah. that's no, I'm, I'm defending it. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you keep going up over and over and over again. When you're a kid, it's the funnest thing in the world. Sled riding. Yeah, sled riding down the hill. I'm not sure it's the funnest thing in the world. It's just, like, something you in that do moment. when it happens. It's not like you, like, pers- go on a trip to go sledding. I, if I could go sledding you down a hill instead of... lines to be like, I have it's just, to You only do it when you have off from school. Like, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's snow day, and you're like, all right, I guess... Yeah, yeah I mean, it's it. the walking up that makes it not addictive. Yeah. Me. Yeah, I've never been all down. I've never done yeah. it. If it was all downhill, oh you got a good body for it. Yeah, you have a good yeah, sled body. Fly. I could see you in a saucer, you but I got the bad the circulation. Oh yeah, you yeah. Can't yeah. really do the sledding. What does that mean? I got the rain odds. Fingers will fall. Right the odds, fingers will fall right off. Yeah, mm. they turn white, fall off. <laughs> also, people on that are just looking at the the graphic of this are going to think we sneakily threw coke into the bracket. It's just a bunch of things that aren't drugs and then sledding. Oh yeah, Ooh, yeah. This, oh yeah. yeah. People are gonna know what we. Yeah. And it's also like people are gonna look at that and be like, "That's not addicting at all." So it must be mean coke. Must mean coke. It's, a, yeah. it's not a secret. It's just actual sledding. I think to the hill point though, the fact that you continue to go up the hill just to go down a hill in two seconds on a sled makes it addictive. I would argue though that yeah. maybe the walk up is makes don't it even better. care what you're about. Oh my god! Oh, is the reward going down? The yeah, reward. because then you're like, <laughs> no, he's, saying, he's saying it makes the jo- it makes it yeah, it makes it more. No way! Because have you, been to, have you been to like a ski resort where they have the tubing and you just grab onto the rope and it pulls you back up in the tube? That sounds way better. Oh, that awesome. is that is better. But my point being is that like the lag time. You're saying yeah, like yeah, you always enjoy it. something more when you worked for it. Like yeah. the roller coaster when it goes tick tick tick. You right. like that part yeah. better? Yeah, but I like the roller coasters right. where it just starts off drop. That's that's how I build them in Tycoon. I have a uh, grudge do? against sledding. Why? I uh, my teeth. I we for some reason had like four guys on one sled, 
all on top. I was on the bottom. We went too far into the parking Wait, they lot. were all on top of you? All on top of me. <laughs> And Your childhood is the gayest thing I've ever. <laughs> it was had like, you were, every time you he were talks the about gayest it. little boy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we we went further than like the sledding area and went into the parking lot. And my teeth fucking scraped the entire parking lot. Ooh. Oh, my God. oh, you got curb stomp basically. Yeah, basically. Wait, so it just shaved them down. Just shaved down. That's why oh. I, these are new new chicks. The fake ones, uh, yeah. yeah. The yeah. fake the the real ones were just chipped. My uh, college roommate Sean Black, basketball player. Lower the net. I know this. Lower the this net to like... do a dunk competition. He goes up and his teeth get caught in the net. Yeah. Oh no! And he goes to the hospital. Oh they, he goes, gets back to his place. His teeth are still up there in the net. Oh, that's that's pretty, probably still there till today. Cool, actually. Yeah, yeah, because then he had fake teeth, but they were in a retainer. So, it, like at college parties, no. he'd sneeze and catch them. Yeah. Well, imagine like Flip right now. Right. Like imagine, did you guys shoot on the basket after and like hear his teeth clanging? Oh no, no, we <laughs> they took we took the teeth out. Yeah, nothing but bone. <laughs> <laughs> hey, while we're on the topic of teeth coming out, first kick ever thrown in UFC history, yes. UFC one. Dude, kick someone in the face. No mouth guards were being worn at that point, so all the dude's teeth just inserted into this guy's foot, yep. and oh. he had to fight three more times that night. So he just taped up he the had foot. To fight three more times that night. Maybe maybe yeah, it was two. two. Taped up the foot, fought a couple more times, almost died because the teeth in his foot got infected. Dude, what a moronic so. profession. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It really is. Back then, and that was like this, like, he was like a kind of a sl sl little bit slimmer French dude, right? And he yeah, was, was facing a, this massive man. French kickboxer versus a sumo wrestler. Yeah, no yeah, time yeah. limit, no rules. I saw that. Dude, the crazy thing about early UFC is that even if you took it back to the Roman era of gladiators and you showed them that, they'd be like, oh, this is a step too far. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there no rules. You could punch in the dick and it was just frowned upon. Mm-hmm. These two, really? These so two are fake wow. too. You, have, mm. you got fakes? That's hockey, I think that's like a rite of passage, right? Well, it actually wasn't from hockey. All my huh. all my stupid injury, all my injuries were really dumb, not hockey related injuries. I broke these two front teeth doing a kick flip. Oh, that's wow. cool. That's oh. super cool. That's a really high kick flip. It uh, so it was before it was. I was getting ready to go to hockey practice, and I think I was hockey's involved. Thirteen. Okay. I was thirteen, and at the time, me and my my friends were really into skateboarding. We were hockey player that were player skateboarders that's like common. the coolest i ever was yeah and uh right before i put my bag in the trunk i was waiting for my mom to drive me and i was like i'll just i'll just throw down on a quick kick flip to get the vibes up yeah mm -hmm. so i did the kick flip and then my front foot didn't land on the board and my back foot did and i was leaning over Ooh. and i just hit the back of the board and it just went like straight into the front of my teeth it was like a fucking grenade went off oh. I, gotta, I gotta say one story my brother i was hockey related he played hockey they were getting he was getting undressed and oh, mm -hmm. he, uh, he took off his Every skates. Every fucking story, man. I'm like, fucking <laughs> yeah, I'm like uh, maybe I'm gay. Um, <laughs> he, he, uh, two teammates came in. They started fighting and got pushed. And as my brother was getting undressed, guy stepped on his foot with an ice skate. Oh! He was hanging. It was like the, he didn't even know what happened because it was so bad. So he was just sitting there, like everyone's like, "Oh my god!" And he looked down, his blood everywhere, and it just hanging out. His foot's like hanging on. Did I he have a scar? It. Oh yeah. Where did it cut off? His foot. It was like right <laughs> in the middle, like right here. Oh, oh my man. god! Yeah. Thank God it wasn't a toe. He like bare, he's lucky he has a foot, but yeah, I was. I saw the whole thing. So, and, and Rudy just got his eyes sharpened, like. Like at the, oh, that makes and he was sick. like 250 pounds. <laughs> Jesus, Fuck. I don't, I don't know. I knew like one person that was that growing up on Long Island that was even remotely interested in hockey, like playing hockey. Yeah, it's hard. No, it is two true. rinks. It is very true. hard and it's expensive. It was in yeah. the expensive. Superior Ice Rink was in Comac and Dix Hills. Yes, I went to that one. What hills? Dix Hills. Oh hell it's yeah. Dix. So what? Oh, Actually, kind of cool. Lined up for Marty. Yeah, shout yeah. out Dick Sills. Yeah. Fucking place sucks. Bad school. Um, anyway, they're going up against the number five seed. We've kind of like used this one in different brackets in different forms, but someone suggested hanging with the boys. Oh God damn it! Oh no, we God, can't have no. it. And I was like, can't. I can't. I. It's it's right. It's correct. But like. It's won so many different things. I'll, I'll, put, it, I'll put it on the social graphic, but let's swap. Let's swap it with yeah. Pez. Let's swap it with Pez? Pez? Yeah. yeah. Nobody's, Pez. Ev you, nobody's ever filled up their Pez and then, like, saved some for let You eat it all. Yeah. I'll swap it with Pez right now. Yeah. Oh, that's good. What Pez. was your, uh, did you have, like, a favorite Pez head growing up? Oh, man. Uh, probably Yoda. Yeah. I queen Yoda was a good one. I was, yeah, there was a Darth Vader one. Yeah, he was a classic. Um... I should have collected. I should, man. That used to be like way more of a that. thing. Like, I had a teacher, a science teacher, of course, who had just yeah. a Pez collection. It's the most science on teacher their desk. move ever. Yeah. Surprised it didn't take off more. 
Oh, there is. It took off pretty well. They were massive. They did well. You never had the raspberry. Raspberry Pez is very good. Yeah, it is. And grape, I like too. Yeah. Uh, no, it's almost like Smarties, right? Like Smarties are better. Gross. Oh, Smarties are gross. No, oh, they're too chalky. Galactically no. better. Pez is I too chalky. Pez is chalkier than Smarties. Pez sucks. The chalk is the best part. There was a kid in our high school that sold Percocet out of a Pez. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Sick. That's really cool, that's actually. Damn. That's, that's, he's probably doing pretty good today. Yeah, he's doing well. Yeah. Uh, so, Marty, you'll, on Percocet. Yeah. <laughs> you'll, go, you'll go first, Marty. Sledding on a hill versus Pez. For sure, Pez, because my, my teeth is bad. Um, well, actually, thank you to sledding. I got probably better teeth. Um, but Pez was I, like, we only got Pez because you wanted the fucking head, mm-hmm. and you just you're right. You didn't eat a half want of it to thing this day. of Pez. You just I've, kept doing it to open up the head. I've never found a Pez dispenser. And be like, oh, there's candy in here. Yeah, it's yeah. always. I've never always empty. Yeah, some of the noise it makes too when you pull off. The, when you pull <laughs> the head up. Yeah. Yep. They always get stuck to at some point. They're never yeah. like fluid. Yeah. <laughs> KB. Not even a hater. I don't think either of these are. Hmm. I would do like three to eight runs max for sledding, and I would never even, I would never finish Pez. I want more. Mm, but you Sled, would finish sled, the Pez. Sledding is more fun. Okay. Sledding. I guess I would have to go Pez because I've never sledded before. It'd feel disingenuous to go sledding. That's fair. Rudy? Um, I'm not, I never was a huge candy sweet tooth other than Gushers. Um,. And I, I love sledding. Or, love it. Are, are fruit snacks and gummies on this? Oh. There's other, Those are ridiculous. Gushers. Yeah. There are gushers. snacks of other kinds okay. out here. Because the portions are so small. Yep. Anything miniature is addictive. Yeah. Also, the packaging of Gushers, that paper. Yeah. The way, like, it was the like stock, a hard plastic. It was like, it was like a pa- more papery. It was was so it like the wax paper back then? I don't remember. Yeah. It wasn't like wax. It was I like, like you could rip it. My mom never got uh, me I'm Gushers. I'm feeling it now, and it's good. It was yeah. like foil and combined oil, yeah. paper and stuff. It was like a thick, like, uh... It was like in between paper and not cardboard, but it was just yeah. a really Almost, nice, yeah. nice, 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 nice packaging. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to go uh, sledding just because I got a lot more joy out of that. I never really, Pez's, I looked at them and I was like, okay, well, never really got that into it. I really want to know what these are made of now. You, you, you incepted this in my head. Nick? I would go up to Ogilvy Park, go up to sled. They had the best hill. And the thing was, like, the hill was so long that my mom would pick me up at the bottom and drop me up. Oh, yeah. wow. Um, Wow, that's nice. Go again. Uh, I'm going Pez. Ooh. <laughs> you Pez. better. You suggested it. Yeah. Pez going from behind. All right, next matchup, number four seed. Um, we're just, it's cranking the hog, but we're including porn underneath the banner because it's not like you're, you're – who's dry jerking? Cranking the hog? Is it dicting? Y- yeah. How many times yeah. can you do it in a row? No, no, not necessarily in a row. Just the fact that it you is, continuously It is do an it. addiction. Yeah, just throughout yeah, life, therapy. jerking off. Yeah, I, I, guess, I, yeah. I would say daily as an adult's kind of. That's a bit much. Bit That's much. a lot. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, Bob, you try to go nineteen days. I didn't try. I did. <laughs> yeah, but your bo- my point being is your body revolted. You went through withdrawals and you had a it nocturnal did. emission. Were you a minor when we had you do that? No, I had just turned eighteen. Yeah. That's how you celebrate. One of the first things Erica told me as an intern, she was like, you wrote a really good blog yesterday. And I was like, what blog was that? Oh, yeah, it was the blog about not coming. <laughs> she said someone from the Wall Street Journal like sent it to her and was like, you got someone good on your hands. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. Holy shit. You, you were on one. the cutting edge of NoFap. You were. I pretty much was. Yeah. I might have started the NoFap movement. You're the face of it. Yeah, mm-hmm. the France Ferdinand you, of NoFap. You no should fat. run it back like this many years later. No. See if you can still do it. <laughs> I, was just, I was just thinking it'd be a funny. It's funny that you were 18 and you went 19 days. Like, what if you had a tradition where every time your birthday you had to one up however old you were? I don't know because it wasn't like I decided like, all right, 19 days. Like, I'm gonna fucking crank a load here. I woke up and I was like, well, there it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's the load. 19. Yeah. So cranking the hog, including porn underneath this banner, because is anyone jerking off like not porn? I had here? a buddy that did it. Why, why, why are you acting like literature. this is like the rarest? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a friend shocking. of a friend once. I, it was shocking to me. What did, what did he jerk off he to? Imagine well, I he yeah, he would I think he would watch like he said that he would watch a little bit of porn, get the mind going and then shut it down and then go you know, freestyle. How? Like, and, uh, but even if you're thinking of the porn, then yeah. Yeah. So I guess what's I, even I the point? Why not? Why, why do you shut the porn down? When you, when I was a kid, I used to uh, like music videos. Music oh videos. Oh yeah. Oh Christina Aguilera, yeah. Dirty. Just, yeah. just like Simpson, Dukes of Hazard video. Yeah, Fergalicious video. Slave yeah. for you. Oh, Slave for you. Yeah. God. Wedding Crashers. 
What, oh, yeah, movie? all of them getting thrown on the bed. Yeah. That yeah. movie with a nude scene. There was... Black Swan was big. Yeah. yeah. No, I was too old for that. I was too old for that. Yeah. Too old for Black Swan? Mila Kunis, Natalie Portman? Yeah. I don't... Well, were they, they naked was... in it? They were going down on each other in it, is what they were doing. But that was like 2010. I've never even jacked off to that. I've never jacked off to that either. either. I need That dick. was like 10 when that came out. That was pretty big. I do need... Yeah, I need dick. <laughs> I, I truly do. Was it, was it the part truly where she... Truly do. Yeah. Was it the part where she masturbates yeah. in bed and then rolls over and sees her mom sitting there? <laughs> I haven't seen that movie in 10 years. I haven't seen I have it no at all. recollection of what you just said. Oh, yeah. Very awkward scene. Mm. Do we, uh, so that's going. Well, all Ken Jack's porn is blurry. It's, oh, it's so blurry. Yeah. Pixelated like you yeah. would not believe. Tentacles. <laughs> oh, you can see his tentacles and <laughs> Tomi Tanaka. That's the only two things you can see. Uh, that's I, I, I am always so ashamed of myself when I get Ken Jack's references. Yeah. There's no worse be. feeling. Yeah. You should be. <laughs> <laughs> all you right. consider yourself a weeb. Um,. You shouldn't have. To I don't know, pause. Guchin. What do you think? Yes. You're in that territory. Yes. We have to pause. <laughs> you're not. You're not. Um, in, he's not no, in, uh, no, because weebs are like, like. You're not otaku territory. Yeah, I was gonna say are, that's a totally different thing. And Jack, you're wearing wooden block sandals. <laughs> <laughs> Those of you listening, it's true. There's like two different levels. Of, like hey, otaku's. Ryan, no idea what a weeb is. No, me and Mush are looking at each other. Oh, it's a, a white man obsessed with Japanese culture. Oh, any any non-Japanese. Okay. So like um. He's got a Studio Jamal Ghibli w- poster at his desk. Of course he's a weeb. Yeah. There's Jamal Williams, the running back for. The lines, I would say, is a weeb. Yeah, but there's two levels of there's the otaku who are like obsessed with like an- anime, anime, manga, like all this shit, and they like their life is dependent around. There's like posters in the room. There's fucking like uh, they have the what are the pillows called? Di- the waifu pillows. The waifu pillows are like daimescus or something like that. It's yeah, like a good guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's it's the name of it? Like daimescus. Oh, it must like be daimescus. Like yeah. It's like a body pillow <laughs> with an anime girl ta- like like uh, printed yeah. onto but it's, it. Yeah. It's not like a sexual thing. They just want it the comfort of sleep. Oh. It is also a sexual. I've seen these sexual. dudes in the chat rooms. They're racist. Yeah. Oh, very. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody with an anime like avatar on like any social media, racist person in the world. They're funny too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're very racist. Anime like a show? Anime is Japanese, Japanese animation. animation. Like Dragon Pokemon, Ball Z, Dragon Ball Z Naruto. Oh, yeah. oh. Stuff like but that. Also comic books, correct? Comic books. Yeah. yeah. Um, manga. Yeah. Yes. They're reading them right to left. Yeah, yeah it's very annoying. backwards. I I could get, I could do that. Yeah. Oh, they're fine. Rudy would just burn through it. <laughs> That's how he's been reading. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, someone understands me. <laughs> Rudy's fluent yeah. in Japanese. In Arabic. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> Rudy knowing Earth. Arabic would be sick. Oh man, Going through the Quran with Rudy. God, band, dude. I can't. Dude, you should uh, for Twitch learn a do Duolingo on Twitch. Yeah, oh, that'd be oh, good. I, I don't think it's possible. You should do Rosetta Stone on there. Just yeah. learn a different like. Yeah, that'll be a fun watch. <laughs> <laughs> Probably would. I think like a tutor teach you on a Twitch stream would actually be kind of funny. Well, it would be. Dave could yeah. do it. Yeah, I had a lot of. Or do like Braille. Up. Oh, learn Braille. <laughs> Braille. <laughs> Learning. I would rather learn sign language. Yes, that would be cool. I've, I mean, everyone here has gone to our hotel room and pressed the Braille on the room it's, number. It's everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. They're fun to touch. Anyway, <laughs> Cranking the Hog is going up against the 13 seed. This is replied with it a little bit, and I think it's... We've had conversations about it before. Uh, Chapstick. Because with Chapstick, people who use Chapstick, they're addicted to it. Because yep. they can't stop using Chapstick. Otherwise, their lips get way more chapped than any regular person that doesn't use Chapstick. This is a heavyweight bow. Uh, am I starting? You're starting Chapstick versus um, Cranking the Hog. Uh, I'm not a big beat-off guy. I don't know if it's because of, like... Seeing your reflection in the, the mirror, there's a lot of shame I get. You're jerking I get, off in front of me? No, not the mirror. Not the mirror. The uh, the screen? um screen, laptop screen. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> 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 Nick just jerking it off. Jerking off like American Psycho. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. You know why? It's, it's <laughs> doing like the fucking yeah. 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 It's like it just takes me so long to bust. It's just hard to look at myself. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that was mean. <laughs> I'd come so fast looking at myself, dude. Um, no, I. I am so addicted to chapstick. I panic when I leave the house without it. I have to like stop and get some. Like I, I've been losing it so much. I got this big ass one. Oh Whoa! It's a, like a fucking stick. dildo. That looks like a vape rig. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it but it's my stick. <laughs> I, I put it on probably every. It's actually really smart though. Get, get yeah, it. You get, you get more that. lip. And like you're not gonna lose it. Wait, but show it off for the camera real yeah, quick. Show it Nick. to him. Oh my stick! Yeah, you have like a I butt plug full of chapstick. See that Nikki sticky? <laughs> it's huge. That is a massive thing of chapstick. Like, mace. like <laughs> if any of you guys kissed me, it would be like, wow. Mm. Plush. Frictionless, even. Yeah. Very Slide lovely. right off. Okay, so one for chapstick. This is tough for me. I love beating off. Um, <laughs> hey, you do. It rules, dude. It's the best. Um, That'd be good for Twitch. 
Huh? That would be good for Twitch. No, Frank. Yeah. yeah, I have to go on kick for that. Um, but I am a historic chapstick addict. I mean, I used to I used to get clowned all the time in high school because I would apply it just like all over my face because like I off of your lips, like the Joker. Yeah, that's where it gets chapped, and I licked my lips a lot. I still do, which is why I get chapped lips. So I I honestly don't know what way to go on this. I I really love both, but I. I don't when was the last time you put on chapstick? Five minutes ago. When was the last time you beat off? Last night. Uh, I thought you were gonna say <laughs> shorter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Three minutes ago. Yeah. Uh, uh, but I honestly can't envision a world without chapstick. Mm. So I, I have to go chapstick. Two for chapstick. It's wild. I'm not a chapstick guy. People anyway. could probably uh, realize that if they watch any of my videos or podcasts because my lips are always chapped. Do you get comments? No. Every once in a while, I'll just I like, notice I'll it. Comments. You know, I'll, I'll be this like, thing. oh shit, I probably should have worn chapstick. You don't have much day. of a top lip, though. No, I don't. I got that Tina Fey lip. Mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Me and Nick comp. Me and Nick I was in the Stooge comp. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll go beaten off. A lot, of, a lot of surface area. Yeah, I like jerking off. Yeah. I just realized that since we're man Dan, I'll vote on these two. I will also go with beating off. So that Gooch could tiebreak if we get the opportunity. Maybe. It's beating off. Beating off. If you could beat off without cleanup, I would do it way more. How difficult is the cleanup? How big are your loads? It's annoying. It's, they're insane. It's annoying. <laughs> Straight into the toilet. They're fucking insane. And there's also nothing worse than if you beat off and you're just like kind of just disappointed in it. You're like, damn, oh, I'm not really yeah. bringing it. Like a ghost load. Dude, yeah. yeah. You're not bringing it. That is a dark feeling for me yeah. personally. I don't like, know about you guys. That That is more depressing. Post-nut than clarity, yeah. It's worse than post-nut clarity when like you have a bad nut. Yes. I've never had that shame that other people talk about. Oh, I do. I've had Broken. it. Just by that yeah, like, hell yeah. my brain turns on and then it's immediately off and then on to the next. <laughs> <laughs> like a robot. Yeah, I've never felt any type of bad. I'd love to know what type you of... You feel any type of feeling? It's pure sexual. Mm. And it turns off and then I'm done. All right. I would love to see the porn that KB beats off to. Because I feel like you would beat off to like <laughs> concepts. No. Like you... Like, like he would beat off hexagon. to... Hexagon. Like, he would beat off to like a bridge. Like, yeah, exactly. like civil no. engineering. No. Like a list of cities. No. A county map. It's, yes, no. a county. It's you put. definitely jerked <laughs> off to a county map. No, I don't. I enjoy maps, but not. You. It's ass pussy body. Body? You gotta, need, you gotta have one of those, yeah. What's the... Head? Do you need a head? Or are you a no-face person? I mean, yeah, I like face. All right. Is What's the most unconventional area of the woman you're attracted to? None, I had none of that weird shit. None of that? Mm-mm. It's ass pussy. That's good. Uh, just, dick, just dick ass pussy. It's no, what you need. Kyle's a vanilla ass fuck. Mm. Yeah. Dick ass pussy's all you need. <laughs> Kyle, yeah, pretty much. Not even boobs. No, we took Party. a freak test. You were like bottom left quadrant of that grid, vanilla. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. No, yeah. Strictly procreation fucker. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Chapstick. I'm, uh, when I'm like, when I wake up, my, when if I don't put chapstick on before bed, my, my lips are in absolute shambles. <laughs> or Goochman, you're, you're breaking the tie. I you can't. Dude, this is insane. Yeah, this is insane. I, of, dude. I swear. We're talking I about addictions, something. things that we can't help but do. I like chapstick, sure. Jacking off, I can't live without that. Mm-hmm. What are we talking? Yes, about? you can. I, no. I can. I kind of nope. can't. I think guys just what? say that all the time, just to say it. You think you could just for, for it forever, just not jerk off? People pretend to be hornier than they are. Yes, exactly. Brother, this is not pretending. <laughs> I'll say this: this is the only thing I can foresee beating jerking off for me is chapstick. It's chapstick. Well. Wow. Frank and the Hog is going to win off the Gooch tiebreaker. Um, next up, we have the number nine seed versus the eight seed. Uh, the eight seed is, it's hard to explain exactly, but like the early morning sleep snoozing. Like, you know, when like you're like, oh, I'll wait another 10 minutes. And like that addiction cycle. Time goes so fast, too. That sleep is 500 times better than yep. your regular over. That's when I dream the most, too. Exactly. Because of yeah. a cute, this thing called, I read up on it. It's called a cute. <laughs> Yeah, like that, like that. <laughs> it's called acute REM rebound. That's why that happens. Because uh. like if you're in REM cycle and you wake up and then you go back to sleep, you shoot even further down. No kid. Oh, yeah. you just di- oh deeper. In the- That's why you have more vivid dreams if you wake up at like five and go back to sleep. Fun fact. That's going up against number nine seed. Uh, this is another one a little tougher to phrase, but just like when the honeymoon period of you and your significant other. So like the, you know, like in the first month or so of dating, that's addicting. That's a no, tough okay. addicting no, one. That's listen, not addicting. Listen, I just, just keep listen. dating and dumping. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if that's addicting. Hear it out. Liking a girl. <laughs> no, hear it out. This it's the your relationships <laughs> just go to shit. The, the addiction <laughs> is to the, the significant other for that first month. So like you oh, need to be okay. with this person as yeah. much as humanly possible. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Couldn't yeah. be right. matches. 
<laughs> yeah, definitely Jim, could not be rude. You're like a drug, and I can't quit you. Yeah, yeah don't say shit like that. But it, it's it's <laughs> it's like that's what you're saying. It is what I'm saying, but don't say it out loud to All them. Right. Yeah, okay, it's true. Uh, so that's the nine versus the eight seed. Marty, you're up first. Um, snooze. Snooze is there's not much. There's really not much better than that snooze button. Mm-hmm. Do you know any people that set alarms? But Me. You're the one of those. Purposely two hours early. Wake up just to make sure you have another hour or something. Yeah. yeah. How how long are you doing in advance? It depends. I used to do like two and a half hours. That's and then in, like that's increments. crazy. It's a great feeling. Oh, my brother does the same thing. It's like 7 a.m. You have to wake up at 9. It's like, what are you doing? Because it would wake me up too. It's stupid. Now it's- I have the opposite where it. I don't have to wake up until noon. <laughs> so now I'm up at eight. Dude, I feel like such a hero when I wake up at like nine a.m. I'm oh embarrassed though. No, I, I nine o'clock. I'm like, oh, how are people? I'm up. I'm the only one up in the world right now. Yeah. O'clock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. People have been at work. <laughs> like, so I feel, I feel like hours. such a fucking bum. I'm done feeling that guilt. I see people on TikTok every day in the life. Their job is to fire. I fired off a few emails and then went to a pop-up <laughs> shop. It's like that. That's their job. Yeah, really firing off emails. Shops. I don't know what they're doing. I think about it too. Like when I would go to the like whatever jobs I had before, it would be the same thing. Except instead of when I would get to work early, I would be doing nothing. Exactly. I'd be doing nothing exactly, until twelve. Yeah. A lot of people's Absolutely job can nothing. all be yeah. done in two hours. Exactly. Yeah. Oh yeah. You have to stay. So you're paid five. to just be around. There, yeah. Be, yes. Yeah. I, From nine to twelve, I'm not doing. What's the average anything. amount of work like somebody does a day? Like four, five hours. Oh, wow. Max. Max. I think on I Mince's say, like, emails, it's depending like depending on who things. you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it's yeah, it's three, and then he just says the same things in video form. Yeah, but yes. I, you, you don't know how long other stuff takes. That is true. Other stuff, other stuff, other stuff, other stuff takes up the majority off. of my life. Hogs for the yeah. cause, anything Hugs for the like cause, that, big yeah. time. Yeah, mm. thirty-six days away. Mm. Pretty close. Yeah. Yeah, we're getting up. We're in the, we're in the territory right now. So that's one for early morning sleep and snooze. KB, that. Early morning sleep and snooze, Robbie. I gotta go early morning sleep and sleep and snooze. I, I do that pretty much every morning. Whatever also, rain chemical that is is I think a drug. Yeah. The, the other one still is like I get it, but I, I don't know if addicting is the word I would use to describe the the feeling. It's, it's not like I'm a it, again. It's hard to explain because it's not like you're addicted to like just doing that exact honeymoon phase over and over again with different women. But that that month or whatever where like you are you need to see yeah, this yeah, person yeah. maximum amount of times. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's weird. Um, Okay, so that's three for early morning sleep. I'll vote for it, too, because that's just the thing I obviously experience more now. But, uh, Rudy? Yeah, I mean, I'm starting to understand a little more the the honeymoon thing. Like, you know, early on when that phone lights up, you feel really good. Yeah. But the hitting the snooze button is the closest thing you can do to morphine. Yeah. Without doing a drug. Mm -hmm. It It is truly, like doing an opiate that that hitting that button yeah the rel- it's instant relief instant relief I literally overslept today because it did that yeah i do it great every, i do it i loved every it day <laughs> every day <laughs> also the people you were talking about K- K- kb on tiktok i see all the time they're like i wake up at 4 30 fire off a few yeah. emails and i was thinking about it and they're like okay so you think you're better than me mm. you think you're better than all of us because That's you wake up at 4 30 off i would but then i was thinking about it, i was like okay i stay up till 3 a.m there's the day is still only 24 hours. If I stay up late, there's still no real difference. Like staying up late exactly. and working on things, it's like you're just shift. You're just doing things at a different Shifting time of yeah. the day. Yeah. It doesn't really necessarily the real whatever. shit's happening from 12 to seven. Mm. Yeah, because they're telling you to go to sleep for a reason. Exactly. Oh, was yeah. that one dude that on TikTok that was saying like you have three days in a day or something? Oh, that was yeah. hilarious. That was, you know, you have nine days in a week Wait, was, was it, it was it the guy who said he stayed up for 17 hours straight no he basically Plenty? like he <laughs> basically <laughs> thought that he like glitched the system by like sleeping like one less hour a day than yeah. the normal person so he's like if you add up all the hours that i'm gaining from that i get i i've li- i have worked 380 days in a year and it's like the time yeah. doesn't and Change. suck my oh, cock. Yeah, yeah fuck we were just guy. talking about that too. What you just like, what you just said, like it's crazy. Guys just tell everyone to suck their dick even to other guys. Yeah. Oh yeah, all the time. I would never tell that to a girl. Yes. But it's oh, like never. we never. <laughs> not in a million years. No, we were saying <laughs> it's the same. Like if you said to a dude as a diss, like you're like mad and like suck my dick. If you were just like slap my ass, <laughs> it would hit so different. But it's sort of the same genre of it's the same genre i guess yeah it's sort of like a very uh, jerk me off would be funny jerk me jerk off. me off yeah. oh it's just that doesn't roll off the tongue well at all uh, bro uh, spit in my ass you know what i mean like that's um from blue mountain state where he'd be he, when he gets into fights 
jerk me off right now. Yeah, jerk yeah, me yeah. off. So the guy's like, all right, no, I won't. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's snooze, no question. Did you watch the show? Nick? I'm kind of swayed on like the honeymoon period. You have me thinking like, I get yeah, I'm not going to admit I it. I get annoyed no. so easily. I'm not, I'm not going to admit that I fall head over heels. <laughs> <laughs> head this, over heels? <laughs> you know I fall hard. I know. Uh, you know when I fall, uh, I fall hard. Yeah, KB looks like Sonic the Hedgehog. Aston hard. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. uh, <laughs> no, it's just like, we're men. We're adult men. And that early stage <clears throat> of a relationship, you like kissing. Yeah, <laughs> best about, thing in the world. Like kissing is. Uh, uh, <laughs> I just can't get enough of those kisses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We're not. We're not passing this one through. Yeah, smooches. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, my vote now. The more we're talking about it, yeah. you're just like, oh, I can't wait to go kiss her. Yeah. <laughs> That's how addictive it is. Uh. Dude, it is. No, no, no. I need you guys to stop. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm voting for the honeymoon stage. Uh, <laughs> Dude, I'll, I'll be honest. This kind of works too when you like make a new friend and you're like, this guy's really cool. You're so <laughs> excited to chill <laughs> with him. Uh, that is the friend thing's crazy when you're like, I need to hang out with this guy. Yeah, yeah, ASAP. I'm sick. Uh, he makes yeah, me like, text him. Uh, he's just, oh, and uh, when you're afraid to double text a new friend, you're like, they didn't respond to this yes, one. Yeah. But I don't know if I should. Yeah, that's uh, tough. You send him a YouTube video, you hope they like it. Semi famous, and you're like, don't know how to text him again after That's you hard. I'm like, nice to meet you, bro. Like, yeah, and it's yeah. like, all right, <laughs> thanks, man. You guys have the moment of like, uh, you don't know what you're doing when a semi famous person follows you on Twitter. For the next 24 hours, you're like, my Twitter is a new place. I'm going to tweet about you only, only things think that about are... your feed from the perspective of them looking at exactly. Oh, my yeah. feed that fucking was sucks. First yeah. time. It just doesn't retweet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when you get hired and Dave follows you, and you're like, oh, yeah. well, he oh, unfollowed yeah. me now, so that's different. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, that it's was freedom. Like, oh. So he followed oh, it is. I forgot Congrats. about that. He, he followed, followed me during like that six months before I got hired. Hired. That's scary. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was real scary, and so it was like I felt like I was really under the microscope of like because mm. I was trying to get a job. Mm. Yeah, it's very. Fr I had a director follow me recently, and I was just like, I, my trying to cure me, curate my timeline for them. I was tweeting more about movies, and I was just like less about dick ass pussy stuff. And yeah, like, it just feels I don't like the feeling, dude. <laughs> do you ever check yeah, on like any of your famous followers and see if oh, they're yeah. still following? Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. John Maron followed me. John Maron followed me and it pissed me off. Yeah, Ooh, that's, a, that's yeah. a bummer. Trent actually unfollowed me within one day of following me when I was hired as an intern. <laughs> I made it one night and he goes, no, nope, too Fucking much. Fucking asshole. He goes, bad guy. He's he goes, the bad wrestling gifts. Bone. Yeah, he, he was out on that. So I made it one no day. One, one Jeff T. Lode still does not follow me back on Instagram. Wow. And I sat, through, I sat through every single one of those weekend posts. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude, yeah, what a warrior. We, we all Always survived that. For Jeff, yeah. <laughs> I miss him. Now that was funny, Gooch. That was that was funny. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. Uh, the snooze button's going to move on, although I still think the. We all resonated with the honeymoon. One. That's all I'm saying. Drop you guys, that, you guys all that, shit talked dude. it and you all agreed with I was it. I about to keep adding all elements. So fucking. <laughs> Pompous, by the Everyone way. Everyone was like uh, afraid to sound gay following. about yeah. liking. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. That was a bad ass session. <laughs> 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 Fucking these Loser. guys are bothered yeah. to change my how I tweet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know that relatable feeling. <laughs> Uh, Every relevant. time I retweet, like you know, I will say when Shaq followed me, I was like, "All right, I'm gonna uh, tweet." Yeah, yeah. That's, cool. Yeah. that's a cool one, dude. What, cool I one. wonder what Burt Kreischer's thinking when he sees me like <laughs> advertising advertising Black Friday, <laughs> <laughs> or when you post a picture of a pumpkin. <laughs> oh, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> that is what they see. <laughs> dude, I'm an all time bad follow. Yeah, you got you both are. Yeah, you both yeah. are. You're yeah. horrible. I'm the worst one. <laughs> you're so no. You're actually because you come out of the woodworks with some like when you get when you get reply to somebody. Yeah, the replies. Are, I like to reply, me. but not. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> replies have been really funny. Um, all right, so the, now we have the one seed versus the chain game. Uh, chain game is our playing game. Yep. Um, we only have four options. Nothing crazy. Uh, tungsten is the first one. Somebody suggested, and I was like, yeah, well, obviously, we have so what dense. three, four members here. Of the Tungsten Federation of Greater New York. Uh, after that, the pre-dinner bread at a restaurant. I would like to qualify the good bread. Yes. Texas uh, Roadhouse. Texas bread. Roadhouse bread, for Olive sure. Olive Garden. All, Olive Garden could definitely be on there. Uh, the bread the most eaten thing in the world? Rice. 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 Yeah. Rice. One. Yeah. Rice? yeah. 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 Yeah, China. China. A lot of, yeah, lot of Chinese. Just about to say that too. <laughs> the world, the world gets me. China and India. Of, 
Yeah, we'll just What's more popular, here. Morgan Wallen or bread? <laughs> <laughs> uh, after that, ice cream, which I was like in between on, but like. Nah. Doesn't do it for me. It's too cold. It too cold. cold. Brain freeze. Cold yeah, the dairy. Mm. You, you can't eat it slow. Four to five scoops, I'm done. It's colder than yogurt. Marty, that's a lot. Oh, no, like my <laughs> scoops. Oh, my <laughs> scoops. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm banana sundae is my, my last. 24 oh, scoops. Oh, my God. He's farty. No, just four spoons. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, chewing on stuff. Uh, <laughs> Wait, Frank? Yeah, I don't know about that. Dude, I had to go to the orthodontist once because I got a calculator stuck in my braces. No! Oh. The calculator had these rubber grips on the side, and I was just... That's the <laughs> biggest nerd stuck. I I <laughs> you have a calculator <laughs> stuck in your mouth? Like, oh my god! <laughs> That's like it was a little. It was like this big. I think I got it for my birthday from sister. No, and I it got. I was gnawing. It's not even school it's assigned. Stuck in my braces. No, I was in school, but I had like I couldn't get it out. You got a calculator for your birthday? birthdays? Or oh, no, no. So like uh, sister Kathleen, the nun would come, and you could pick out a small little trinket. Gotcha. For birthday. So I'd gotten it that day. Gotcha. Oh, and you're like the army hammer of calculators, dude. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but people do like they'll like the sweatshirt strings. They'll fucking still bite. I on don't do all that the anymore. Chew on pens still. A lot of people. You I do? don't. Yeah, I guess a couple marks on this one. I think. I don't chew anymore. Hey, I just thought of a calculator joke. If we would want to pretend that I said this earlier. Yeah. yeah. Now that's crunching the numbers, eh? <laughs> Gooch, edit, edit, yeah, Gooch. Edit that, edit, that, edit, that, edit that in. Yeah. Edit that Bob in. Fox with the quick wit. Yeah. That was a oh, good, well, no, no real yeah. quick that on my quick. feet. It wasn't yeah. that quick. It was, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, you were licking the, the boobs. With the <laughs> 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 eight, 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 oh, oh, eight. Typed eight, oh, oh, eight. Started eight, 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 going to town. <laughs> <laughs> I was motorboating the boobs. Uh, what, what model was that calculator? <laughs> it was like a little a TI thirty two. Oh, dude, fuck? what a setup! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna <What>? cut that. <laughs> what model was that? Oh man, Holy a shit. tooth thirty <laughs> two. It's TI eighty eight, idiot. Yeah, no, they can't uh, chew on one of those. Can't chew on a graphing calculator. Big, no, I have way too no big. idea what you say. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Either jewels, not tools, is uh, what they say. Is there any other chain candidates anyone wants to add? I think the bread is uh, bread is sure the winner. Sure fire winner. Yeah. Do compliments make it. Okay, we'll get to that. You're addicted to giving compliments. Oh, you'll see. We'll save giving? that. Table that conversation. Okay. Wait, what was the What was the other one? Ice cream. Ice cream. Tungsten. Shit. Bread. And chewing on stuff. And then, yeah, bread. No, Pre dinner it's bread. bread. It's bread, dude. Pre There's some bread. stuff you see and you want to chew on, like a Scrabble tile. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah. Or a poker chip. Anything a, a good eraser? Poker chip is yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone else feel eraser. that with erasers? Yeah, erasers is a good smelling one. I think they crumble too easily for me. I want to hear that noise of me going on the poker okay. chip. Poker yeah. chip, definitely. Yeah. that We should do a bracket of uh, most edible, non-edible things. Oh, I Stephen Che is going to have a field yeah. day with that. Yeah. Stephen Che, I don't know if you guys know. Window sill? The window yeah. sill. So he used to chew what? on his window sills as a child. And his mom had to put mustard on it so he wouldn't chew on the window sill. She had to put something edible on the window sill. <laughs> so that he wouldn't <laughs> eat it. <laughs> Rudy can't believe it. What? I think that's my funniest thing of 2022. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> mustard proofing is windows. That so. sounds like a German like fable. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, does. yeah it actually does. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? It's so fucking funny. Um, oh my god, mustard would just heighten the. Experience. I can't believe this is a chain game because bread. It might be my bread. one. It's not seat. just bread. It's yeah. not. Oh, it's not the broad bread. It, it's pre dinner bread. The free bread. Sense, yeah, the yeah, best bread. Like I, I have to sometimes really like say don't eat it because you're not gonna eat your meal. Make yourself full. So I'll good. scarf it if I don't like it. Mm. Yeah. What other scarf? I'll, I'll even eat the pumpernickel. Well, the chips too. Oh, chips fuck the salsa. pumpernickel. I don't, I don't What's the other pre-bread thing or pre-meal things they chips. give you? Chips and salsa. Chips yeah. and salsa. Yeah. They um. I try to think. There's other stuff. Well, there's this one diner I would always. Go to. They give you fucking garbanzo bean salad. <laughs> Nobody would eat oh, it. Oh yeah, <laughs> missed it. Uh, TJ Sports Garden did popcorn, but you had to go scoop it yourself. Oh, they had oh, a popcorn okay. machine going at all times. I like that. Oh, yeah. cool. That was good. Diners always do like coleslaw and a pickle. Coleslaw and a pickle with your meal, but not unlimited. I'm right. thinking of like they come back and refill. That's what adds the addiction part because there's no. You ever feel bad asking for more bread? Oh yeah. I no. Always do. no, I don't feel bad about that. I always do. Cost them like ten. I think cents. it's like coming out of their pocket. Yeah. yeah no, I just <laughs> it's stupid for sure. I just feel bad. <laughs> so we're gonna do pre dinner bread. I feel fat. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Pre dinner bread is going up against the number one seed. Uh, it most replied with thing just the internet, the internet access. We could say more specifically, internet access is something every single one of us is you today. We probably used it within the last five minutes, five ten minutes. Yeah. I would imagine. Fuck. Yeah. It is the, probably the most addicting thing to us. And I don't know what I would do without it. 
Like, I honestly have yeah, no... I think the top 10 could all be, like, internet yeah, and sub like elements sub genre. Yeah. yeah, true. Uh, so who do we end with? Marty, we ended with you last time? Yeah. Right, yeah, so you're up. Internet versus the pre-dinner bread. I mean, it's definitely the internet, but the pre... Uh, yeah, fuck. It's just, it's tough. Because internet, for me, it's weird now also because it's our job, so, like, I, we have to be on there, so I've feel 20 times more addicted to it mm-hmm. but i also before i worked here you're on twitter fucking all the day anyway when you're you're you don't even realize you're how much you're on the internet yeah because you're just when you're just bored for a second you're like oh let me just pop on twitter it's the internet i might get roasted for this take i think internet's a necessity and it i is. don't think it i was be about on to this. say that I agree. Now, it now is but i think internet should be a right you we have there, to vote for internet, but I, I think it's a necessity. There are people that exist without internet. I don't, like human beings. Ooh, monks? Amish? No, like, that's like an issue. Like you, you can attest to that, Nick. Like Appalachia, like they, there's parts that just do not have fucking yeah, you internet. Just don't have it. And like, yeah, they don't. There's some neighborhoods in our town where you just can't get yeah. high speed internet yet. Hmm. Um, You're, they're probably really happy. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, because then no? they'll come up to Nikki's and they'll just be like, "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> I, this kid used to come to my place, Dakota. He would come to my house. I did not. I wasn't friends with him. But he would ask to come over so he could print off pictures. <laughs> that was amazing. That was a blast. Oh, printing off, printing off was a great. Yeah. yeah, printing stuff was fun. Damn. Uh, so, so listen, the internet is going to win if we're all being honest with ourselves. Sure, but I don't think. I think you can make an argument that it's a necessity. But like, I would say that there are enough humans that exist without constant or any access to internet. I'm going to get a. I'm going to get lampooned by the hardos that are commenting online. <laughs> That it's a necessity. Yeah. Oh, it definitely. You can't live without it. You mm. simply can't. I don't like a lot of some people's bills go there. Bills, on, on emails, like, docu sign. Now there's nothing. Yeah, I'm not even saying like Twitter and Instagram. No. And shit. I'm saying just like normal. Just inter- this is that's all this is by the way. Just pure internet access. Yeah. I I do think it's. An, I think you're right. Mm. But even if it is, like it's still addictive yeah <laughs> yeah the parts of the internet yeah. that are not necessities. Yeah. Well, that's like saying food is addictive. Like you have to have it. But you yeah. don't actually like shelter as addictive. it is to survive yeah. or sleep is addictive. You also, but I guess th- those are all things you actually need to yeah. survive. But in this day and age, you kind of do. You could say you need the internet for certain things. For we sure. do, yeah. But like yeah, we do, there's a lot. There's definitely a side. Plenty of countries, yeah, where they don't, they don't have, have it. Have internet, yeah. But I would definitely. say a majority of the time that most people spend online, it's using things that are not necessities. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. By far, it's all you're things right. that you could easily go without. And you go through withdrawal if you don't get you it. Like, just, if I lose I Wi-Fi, I don't like, like, have service. Yeah, and I hate what I've. Ninety percent of jobs use internet. Just to, your job is to be some on the internet in some way. Yeah, it's yeah. some way related. <laughs> like in America. I'd say over ninety. Yeah. Yeah. Like even if you're the most blue collar yeah, worker, your orders coming out. Like uh, if you're a construction person, that's yeah. like the only thing I can think of. Still even like then. emails in your schedule. And yeah, yeah. Are. Even that. All that shit. Uh, so googling how to build. <laughs> yeah, because they all have no idea. <laughs> no clue. How do they know? They don't. They, they do. No, they figure it out. They do figure it out. <laughs> yeah. So far. Do all those guys well. know how to build everything? I don't think so. I had a lot of friends in the union, man. They're dumb. <laughs> Kyle used to work in concrete. They're so dumb, but they're so smart their with their hands. hands. They're so yeah. smart with their yeah. hands. Their, their hands geniuses is, with their hands. Yeah. I mean, look, Jerry is very good with his hands. Oh, yeah. And he is, Actually, he did try to fix that big hole that's in the middle of the office floor, and it broke immediately. It got bigger. And I can't yeah, hold up bigger. on stepping yeah. in. Yeah. They are. They make you think they know what they're doing, and that's that why it also that. they get paid overtime a lot because they just sit there for a while. Yeah, I, I, that's my favorite construction scene thing. It's just there's the one guy that just sits and watches everybody. Yeah. There's usually like three or four guys that sit and watch, and then there's one guy actually digging the hole or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. Um, okay, so you're going to internet. Robbie. Have to go internet, I suppose. But I mean, you could do just social media. That's yeah, that, and that would be it. That might be a thing too, if, as we go on. Oh. Uh, I'm voting for internet as well. Yeah, no, it's internet. I can't. When I was on Surviving Barstool, I was eating dinner one night, and I, I, I constantly have to have a YouTube video playing. Oh, wow! I eat. Yeah, I watch YouTube. Anything every day. I do, if I'm brushing my teeth, if I'm getting, if I'm doing, if I'm, if my hands are free, there's a video playing. No and Jackie way. was like, "Oh, you're an iPad kid," and it was a <laughs> oh. shocking revelation that it was yeah. so true. I, I have to have a YouTube, YouTube video. video. That, I'm sort of like that. I need, I need maybe not a YouTube video, but streaming something or yeah. music. Yeah, or music. If I could throw on Spotify in the background, yeah. like I first need thing that. I do when I wake up is put on Spotify before I stand up in the morning. Same. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You guys are nuts. Like Spotify. That yeah. And honestly, before even that, maybe check notifications on your phone. That's another thing that requires. Yeah, no. The worst thing that can happen to me is to be to allow myself to have a, a thought. Mm. 
See, now that's where I thrive. <laughs> I have all really? these. Well, I, I mean, oh, some would argue. Oh, I'm telling you, in my head, in my head, you don't know what's going on in there. It's tough to get out. That people, you, that's what you hear. Okay. But in there, good games going on. Like, play, like when I brush my teeth, it's just pong in your head. It just so gets many, lost in translation. I, I play a game every single day in my head. Imagine it's I've like, started brushing teeth with my opposite hand. Apparently, it's very good for your brain. I tried like, that. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I'm going to have like so many cavities. On, right? I count my teeth while I'm doing it. How many you got? Uh, I think last time I counted, I was like 37. Yeah, all right. Is that right? It's like a Mario Party it's game. different like every time I don't know. you count. Yeah, sometimes I do miscount, but that's yeah. part of the fun of the game. I, I think so, two of them, I, I think they're starting to blend back there to one big tooth. Mm. Try it every morning. Don't go on your phone and commute to work. No. Don't try no. it. I'm not going to count my teeth. Not, <laughs> not <laughs> teeth. No. Don't count your teeth, but like you play a game of an over-under thing you see no. on the way to work. It's very yeah, I've tried that without listening to anything on the way to work. It is very therapeutic. I listen to no music. I haven't listened to music in my ears in a long time. But the, it's bad for you. It's weird. But, I mean, at the end of the day, none of these things are better than a video of a guy cleaning a rug. No, it's not better, but it's Ooh, nice. the guy so cleaning I the rug. I can't leave the house. One. I can't go out in public alone without headphones on. Mm. No, it gives me, like, anxiety. I start to get, like, I don't know what to do. I don't have headphones on. I don't have music playing. Yeah. Yeah. An Uber without need, it, need on the em. subway without it, yeah. crazy. You guys are nuts. Walking down the street with, like, nothing in my hand, just, like, it just feels weird. I don't <laughs> know. Feel like it I can't go get school? lunch without headphones. Feels like it's no. wrong. What? I bring head. I and I go over ear. I don't even have earbuds. I go over ear Agreed. everywhere I go. Over ear, no one's gonna talk. To I'll you. go. I'll walk to meet friends at a bar. I'm like, all right, I'm wearing my headphones around my neck. Same. That's mm. nuts. Only thing I have kind of like that is when I'm in the car. When I put down the window, I feel like everyone could see me. Oh, I don't. Mm. I don't. But obviously, they could see me when the window's still up. I'm never window down ever. Mm. I don't like it either. Mm-mm. Not a fan. Uh, like Windows? Down? Vulnerable. I listen to music too loud. I don't want people to know what I'm listening to. You guys, it's okay. People <laughs> would be a little do? scared if they heard some of the music you were listening to. Yeah. yeah. You'd be like, holy shit. <laughs> <Nick's got> some- <laughs> oh, something something right now, I'm just though. like snapping along. Like, <laughs> yeah. He's doing uh, the Carlton to dogs barking. <laughs> 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 uh, His ape noises. <laughs> you playing on a Nick's headphones? <laughs> I just love ape noises. Uh, okay, so you're going with the internet, Rudy? Yeah. It's got to be internet, but it's gotten worse. I have I always circle back to like stumble upon when I was in college. Uh, there used to be so many good websites. I think now there's like four websites. Wikipedia. Yeah. I don't even count Twitter as a website because I do it on my phone. Snap. Uh, there's Wikipedia. There's Reddit. YouTube. Right, there's two right. websites. I don't even count YouTube. As no, it's an app. Wikipedia. Yeah, Why like, is your hat so low? Yeah, it's weird to me. Yeah. What's going on there? Yeah, dude, I don't like that. <laughs> is it too low? How yeah. low is that? I saw myself and I... Okay, that is... <laughs> I thought I looked kind of cool with it. <laughs> oh. That was great. <laughs> yeah, that was way too low. God, it was so low. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That just like changed Fred everything. Yeah. Yeah. I don't... <laughs> genuinely made me upset. Dude, you made me nervous. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it looked good. All right. Oh, you looked like you were gearing up for a freestyle. Something was amiss, <laughs> uh, but it's internet. But it used to be internet way more. Like uh, over ninety percent of web browsing is now done on the phone, and that's cha- that. What happened fast? It used to be fifty fifty when like we were in college. Mm-hmm. What was that website? Uh, not cool math games. What was the actual good addicting games? Addicting games. games. Yeah, addicting yeah, games. That was a any clip. You played uh, double uh, bubble trouble. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cube Runner. We guys Cube oh, Runner guys. Cube Runner. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah helicopter game. game. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, e bombs world Skiing was a blast. One. PM Ski free. PM Tron. Where you draw the lines? Yeah, the one yeah. where you draw the lines. That was a good one. What was the, the one last, with the, the, the What's the best like last uh, phone game? Like Candy Crush. Eight ball pool was a big one yeah, for a bit. Yeah. I haven't played one of those. I haven't years. played one so long. I just have Angry the crosswords on my phone now, but like. Is that a game? No. That just takes too much. Twenty forty eight. Remember twenty forty eight. No. Oh, yes, the number yeah, tiles. That was good. I still play that one. It's my subway game. What was the what one was with that? the bomb in the middle? What was the runner guy? Oh, Minesweeper? Is it mine? Is it you're sweeper? thinking of Minesweeper, the Microsoft game? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What about the running guy? Do people still download? Running guy was fun. Q- Temple Cordy? Run. Temple Cordy? Subway Run? Surfer, Temple Run. Yeah. Yeah, those Temple were good. Run. Are those, like, are there still games, like, are new ones coming out? I don't know. Oh, for sure. For sure. Oh, Bowman. That was a fun one, too. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, with the blood coming oh, out, it was so it. fun. Oh, God, yeah, it was Bowman Two, wasn't it? Bowman Two, yeah. yeah. I'm looking at their their most played games, Kitten Cannon. Kitten Cannon, yes. It wasn't oh. a game; it was just a th- game of chance. You'd shoot the kitten out of the cannon; it would hit like other stuff to go find further. A game. I'm looking at them right now. Yeah, we should start playing a game. Fun run. We should. 
What was oh my god, Fun Run! Yeah, yeah that me was and my a friends, good one. we discovered Fun Run on a Friday in college. And they were visiting me. They were like, let's go out, let's go out. We discover Fun Run. We didn't go out that weekend. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Just play Fun Run. It's way more fun than going out. Yeah. Do you ever play QWERTY, right? Is that the one where you have to play? Quop. Quop. That was yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where Quarty's you have to do the. Keyboard. You have yeah. to like walk and it's like. it's. Impossible. Oh, with the keyboard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah with the keyboard. It was impossible. Uh, it's internet. Yeah. Internet's going to win. We're going to find a game after this and. Uh, Paper I.O. I might Paper I.O. I still have yeah. Fun Run on my phone. Me and Big Cat no had way. a phase. Fun Run 3. When I first started for like two months, where I showed him Paper IO, and he would like text me updates about Paper IO. Paper IO is so addicting. Oh, it's similar to uh, the Snake Game, Biamtron, yeah. but it's like not in linear, like right angles. You okay. kind of like swoop around and you try to collect the whole map and eliminate people and cut them off. It's like yeah. a, a guard.io. That was the first one. Yeah. yeah. It, like the circles. It was so amazing. Mm -hmm. This episode of The Bracket is brought to you by Black Tux. Look, how annoying is it to get a tuxedo when you need one? It's always weird. You got to go to some bizarro store where some guy up tries to upsell you on some weirdo fabric you've never heard on in your life. So screw that. When you need a tux, the best place to go to get one is the Black Tux. The Black Tux makes it super easy to get an on-trend, top-quality, guaranteed-to-fit tux without ever leaving your house. Here's how it works. Take the Black Tux Fit Quiz, pick the style you want to rock, and boom, your tux is delivered to your door in 10 days before the day you need it. That's plenty of time to try it on and make sure that it wears you well. And hey, if it's the fit's not right, then say hello to the Black Tux Fit Guarantee. Order a better size within a day or two of receiving the less than great fitting one, and they'll send you another one right away at no extra cost. And if you prefer an in-store experience, the Black Tux has showrooms across the country. Their expert fit specialists will help you find the perfect style of tux or suit and make sure that it fits just right. Look, we got tuxes. Jeff just got, I think, a very fancy one for the dozen. I'm going to do a live show that's coming up. Um, it's awesome. Super easy to use. Very similar to, like, I think there's some other advertisers we have that do some sort of, like, uh, process. It's really easy. You can rent or buy. The Black Tux is the best place to go when you need a tuxedo for a wedding or a special night. And right now, when you go to theblacktux.com slash LCB and use code LCB, you'll save $20 off your order. That's T H E B L A C K T U X dot com slash L C B. Code L C B to save twenty dollars. The black tux dot com slash L C B code L C B. Uh, on the other side of the bracket, we have the six versus the eleven. The eleven is a very late entry, but I think it fits. I don't know. It might not resonate with all of you. Uh shrimp. We were talking about it. Shrimp. What? Shrimp are addictive. Sure, <laughs> eating shrimp on is this. addictive. I agree. Oh, okay. you, you go up to a cocktail shrimp thing, You're how many times are you going to eat more and more shrimp? You could say that about mozzarella sticks. Yeah, no, nah, I couldn't eat that many mozzarella sticks. Oh. No, they're too heavy. Shrimp, yeah, you could greasy. pop in. I ruined Thanksgiving twenty seven uh, 2007 for me because I ate too many shrimp. I, I didn't eat Thanksgiving dinner because like, I was just going ham on shrimp. Like mini weenies, the fucking cocktail weenies are, are more. This just be hors d'oeuvres. Hors d'oeuvres. Hors d'oeuvres. Hors d'oeuvres. Yeah, hors d'oeuvres. Okay, hors d'oeuvres. That's a good one. That's, That's fair yeah. enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in a blanket or in there. Fuck, it's H. Pigs in a blanket on H O R Sunday. Shut up, Gooch. I got it. You just said H dash. H the dash on the top. Apostrophe. Dash. You know the dash on the top. Jack really needs Tommy back. I need him back so bad. Yeah, dude. I got away with a big one at that that tungsten picture with John Rich. Oh yeah, I looked ten times worse than John Rich did. No, no, not as bad as John. I was. You looked funny. Grandma just. You looked funny. She looked way better than than. Than John Rich. He's a good looking okay, guy. He, yeah. he, he literally, like, before you tweeted out, I saw the picture itself and it, it, I saw it when it was in full picture. I was like, yeah. oh my God, that's bad. <laughs> yeah. We took the picture and they were all like, yeah, damn, Ken Jack looks like a fucking DUI picture right now. And I was like, oh shit, when they post this, I'm going to get fried. And John Rich took all, <laughs> all of, of the yeah. flack. All of the flack. There are, there are, 100% of mummies in the world look better than him. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so we'll do orders versus the number six seed. We'll say like a bingeable series, like a bit, like a series oh. that you just need to continue watching until. I haven't been hooked in a long time. I've been hooked by a couple where I'm it's just like. One, I'm in one right now. Yeah, they're tough. So, Nick, you're up first. The, the bingeable series versus hors d'oeuvres. This is a great matchup. I think so, too. Yeah. When you find that bingeable series, I've been so burnt. I was so burnt and betrayed by Game of Thrones. I was so into that. I was partaking in fan theories on the Reddit. I was in a Game of Thrones fantasy league where we drafted players, and you like got if they got a kill, you got points. Mm. Oh, I, I, I was I was so in, and I was so betrayed. And I have not. I'm like a, I'm like a scorned lover. I yeah. haven't found a show. You had since. that phase. 
I've had that phase, and you um, will you it, you get it gets better. I guess the boys, but the thing is, I'm like up to date on the boys. Yeah. So like, the, did you binge it when you watched it or the boys? Yeah. Yes, I guess. But like, I, I, Game of Thrones, I got the flu. And I was like, "All right, let's try this." And there were already two seasons out. Holy fuck! Oh, never. This is there's a clear winner in this one. It's binging. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think so too. You really gotta watch that. You do. Thrones was it for me, and I was trying to catch up like a month before the final season. I had never seen Thrones. Oh wow! So I what was a like, ride. Yeah, I was like, "Here we go." And Trent and I would wake up early. This is when we were living together to watch like we would try to map it out we'd be like all right we could do 10 episodes if we wake up early on a saturday and we would wake up and watch 10 straight episodes it, of game it was of thrones easy. go to sleep wake up the next morning on sunday and do the exact same it was thing so easy yes. and the greatest viewing experience and when you're you only 10 percent in you get this you know you have 90 percent more oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. yes yeah. I, I, th- I, I think it's binging that's better than yeah. percocet yeah uh, this is this might be the number one yeah this yeah. might be the internet for me yeah, yeah no find the one that is the only time when I forget about internet. Yes. Put your phone down. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, when you're so engulfed oh, in it's it. it's the best. But you kind of need this internet for the streaming service. So. I was watching it on yeah. uh, HP, just on TV. Mm. I'm going with... True. I guess that's connected to Wi-Fi. You're going with that as well, Rudy? Yeah, I uh, I had a very similar experience to Nick. I was very... Sim- the exact same thing. I couldn't get into a show. I now am deep in the throes of World War II documentaries. Nice. And I only think it beats hors d'oeuvres because there is, at a certain point, a limit where you have a diminishing return. Your stomach can only handle so much. Hunger has a cap. Binging, you can push your body mm. to extreme limits. Um, I, it's ruined my sleep schedule, uh, learning about Hitler's evil inner circle. Um, I, it, it's it's truly truly addicting. It's got to be a show that's already a few seasons in because then you get a bad episode and you're like, I'll just watch another. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. matter. It doesn't matter. Than that. Yeah. Yeah. It actually makes shows better. Like if you watch a show like that, you don't have the anticipation of like every week. Yep. I I think if you binge watch a show, you had take one person who binge watched it, one person who watched it weekly. The person who binge watched it will have a better experience. I think and also, yeah, and they probably it's just way better method. I think all, people are crazy that don't dump all ten episodes. Right away, it works I for think, certain shows. I think some yeah. people like to, certain shows. I like like, like the speculation, yeah. getting to talk about it week to week. The end yeah. of Game of, like so, I started Game of Thrones. I like to date at season three, and it was a fun ride. Um, but then there was like a year. They took a year off. Yep, that was brutal. Yeah, uh, that. Oh, I forgot about that. That was yeah. after, That was after Jon Snow died too. Yeah, that's right. oh. I've the series has been I've out for. That. If you don't know that, by <laughs> now. How about that guy dying. Uh, but Ma- if Marty like so. I hated the ending. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you did. Yeah, I didn't. if Marty picked it up and binged it, I bet you he'd like the ending. I agree because he didn't have the the years and years. I agree. Yeah, that yeah. is true. Actually, I did that with Lost. I heard a lot of people didn't like the Lost ending, but I just binged it all at once, and I thought it was fine. Yeah, yeah it changes. I watched it live. It did. It hurt my experience. I might sure. go Sopranos. I've not tr- watched a second of it. I was Me neither. Going to say that people have a problem with that ending, and when I binged it, I was like, oh, that's fine. fine. Yeah, yeah, I cut deep for me because my friend in high school showed me Thrones in 2012, so it it was it was a 10 really year heartbreak. Yeah, give Sopranos a second. It's a little slow. As, I don't it's, know if it's your style. You're, you're sounding like an anime guy. No, I'm telling you, it's <laughs> fucking really. Goochman. You got to try One Piece. You just got to watch the first 250 yeah. episodes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. There's a thousand episodes. No, the first Trust me, Attack on Titan gets good after episode yeah, six. You got to burn through the first two seasons. Give it no, but 48 hours. Anime, like, you I like the banality like of Sopranos. Yeah. I like I the could. boringness. Yes, that's what I, didn't I need. I like it's, that it's too. Good enjoy- yeah, but some people don't. I like the first season's very good, so I don't have to wait that long. Kyle, try Thrones. I don't know if I maybe it's, it's more political than fantasy. A lot of yeah. work though. Yeah. I know I have a lot of work ahead. I know it just, oh. it's just just overwhelming. It's, it's a hour episode. My dad understood it. Yeah, you think it's a lot of work, but once you get in, it really is. I it's like, like going to the notebook. gym. Like no. it sucks oh, thinking no. about it, but then once you're in, you're fine. The only thing is the names are weird. But as soon as you get that, watch with closed captions on. You know I have a lot of rules about my TV shows. I don't watch anything with horses or really. Oh, old. wait, what? Yeah. No horses? Then you're you out on Sopranos? Thrones. You're done. Sopranos. Sopranos. There's a whole bit about Tony like and his horse. One like a couple. Like I'm saying, like uh, I started watching that one show that everyone loves. Yellowstone. No, it's uh, it's like a gambling. It has Seinfeld. Some gambling in it. Oh, gambling. Poker show. face. No, yeah, I'll no. get it. I'll get it. All right. A gambling show. Wait, you're talking older about older times. It's Peaky older. Blinders. Peaky Blinders. <laughs> first up, first ten seconds had a came in on a horse. Turned it off. 
Wow, yeah, you won't like Game of Thrones then. Weird thing you got there. I, kinda, yeah. I don't really like that old timey shit. I like modern stuff. Mm. Same. All right. Yeah, Clemmer, I loved what, what did Clemmer say where he was like, yeah, I don't like anything medieval or fantasy. And I think Nick's like, yeah, it was a bad time for you growing up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good. Um, okay, so I also am picking um, a good bingeable series. Robbie? Bingeable series for sure. Bingeable series for sure. Yeah, yep. Bingeable all going through. The binge. And Rudy made a good point. Like, bingeable series, it's only positives. You eat too many hors d'oeuvres, you got a stomach ache, mm. comes out on the, the wrong end the And other also, way. the thing about hors d'oeuvres is that if you have shrimp, for example, the next shrimp is going, going to only be equal, if not worse, than the it previous can, shrimp. Whereas a TV worse. show will improve. Finishing returns. In fact. And, and change. Great point. TV show, you, you're never feeling bad about yourself because you can talk about it with your friends at one point. Mm. You're, it's a talking point to people like I am watching this show and right. if someone else watches it's the best thing in the world yeah, yeah. alright so bingeable series is going to move on next up we have the three seed versus the 14 seed three seed is well, we'll just say video games broad scope Fun. video games I would say specifically and you, I don't know if you agree with me as you're probably the next biggest video game guy after like me and maybe Nick no I'm not no not really so probably you and me like RTS games specifically like Civ and shit like that <clears throat> like, Games are like strategy, more strategy based games. Um, and they include, this will include, I'll say, the video games. It'll include shit like Candy Crush, like shit that old people, like old people app games that are, they're like addicted to. Um, so we'll start with you. Uh, I didn't even give you guys the second one yet. That's my mistake. Mush, you gave us the 14 seed, which is buying things while you're drunk, which I agree with. Money doesn't mm. exist, money's not real when I'm drunk. Oh. Um, and I will include onto it also buying things when you come into a little bit of extra money, oh. um, which that was from Goochman, um, which I think is a great pick. So if that it is video games versus buying things when you're drunk or when you come into a little bit of extra money. I'm extra money. Like when the bonus hits, you you like, this is free money to me. It's like even when I have oh, cash. Not it's, real. It's not real. I didn't technically earn it, even though you did, but it's like, it's just, this has appeared. And I buy shit right away because I'm like, oh, I didn't have it before. I can do it now. Mm -hmm. And video games, I, I don't play them. And I only played sports video games. I, I tried COD. I sucked at it. Rainbow Six is the only game I was good at. Really? That's the more That's intricate game. It's a harder game than COD. Yeah. No, and I loved I was so addicted to it. And I loved it. And then wow. I was it, though. So, so much more intricate than COD. I know. Yeah, it is. Crazy. I know. Weird a COD, I say. couldn't get that. I could just always died. KB. I don't have a console, but it's video games for me. What video games are you playing? Historically. Oh, histor okay. All right, fair enough, Robbie. I'd probably go video games too, to be honest. I'm not even the biggest video game guy now, but growing up, like when a new game would come out, Halo, um, Halo, Call of Duty, like I remember trying to eat my dinner so fast, like in between the lobby of two games because I couldn't take a 15-minute break. So I'd, I'd go video games. Yeah. Now I feel like I get in a stretch where like a new game will come out, I'll get really addicted for like a week, and then I'm done. Yeah, fair enough. Rudy? Uh, it's clear video games. It's been the cornerstone of my life. Mm -hmm. uh, similar to Robbie, when I was a kid, I, was, I loved playing video games so much that I became Olympic gold medal level of pooping fast mm. oh yeah like yeah. i would sprint to, i would get my poops under 20 uh, seconds <laughs> having to shower it took it felt so oh, it's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, that's why gamers get gross yeah, yeah, yeah. they're yeah. gross yeah. <laughs> they're having a blast one of my favorite episodes of south park is the world of war um, yeah, yeah one of the best and, ever and i don't have like the i don't i don't have an addiction to buying things when i'm was it buying when you're drunk like drunk buying things when you're drunk or when you come into extra money oh yeah, no. Drunk the only, the only, like buying like food. the only addiction yeah. I have when I'm drunk is mansplaining things to women. I love. Doing that. <laughs> I do that sober, brother. You don't need alcohol for that. Yeah, just put on Lord of the Rings. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, dude, the second Aragorn kicks that helmet, it's and, literally a this TED is, talk. Yeah, this isn't that funny because I know you do this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's no, it's less yeah, funny because it's, it's real. It's, it's rooted in truth. <laughs> it's true. It's very true. Yeah, no. Um, weren't you ranked in Call of Duty or no Halo Reach? The Reach beta. I yeah. was. I was in like seventh grade. I was ranked like seven oh two in the world. Pretty so insane. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Because yeah. I, I, I remember I beat it was like for one night. Too. One guy in MLB the show, and it was like the talk of my town for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, <It was> the <laughs> best. <laughs> what was the Halo website where they had all your stats? Bungie was it Bungie's, Bungie's website, website first? Yeah. I think it switched it. Um, shit, I don't remember what it is anymore. Nick? We're like. Uh, Financially independent adults buying stuff is so fucking. Ad I'm not talking food either. I'm talking items. Oh yeah. You buy. You like get an Instagram ad. They make it so easy. Double click Apple That's Pay. Why I got this. Yeah. yeah. 
double click Apple Pay, and then you just kind of get it, and it's just feels so good watching the shipping too it feels I'm, so I'm good. Sitting, there's websites i don't have to type in anything i just double tap and yeah. apple pays and it's mine yep that, that, that's <laughs> that's so dangerous so dangerous, it's dangerous. It's so yeah, dangerous. It's and yeah. that's addiction is yeah no it's it's true and like i think i have a batting average of like 750 of buying oh, things i, I like. don't even oh i don't even get them all in the mail i was gonna say some of them don't the arrive man. yeah yeah and i forget Fuck. about it yeah and, I and i'm fine with it oh that's a great that's like finding loose change except 10 times better like you just realizing that you forgot to pick something up? No, I just never get it. Oh, you just literally never yeah. get it. Okay, gotcha. Um, all right, so video games gonna or you pick buying things? Right? I did, but yeah, I video games uh, used to make me too nervous. Well, online ones, I guess. No. <laughs> oh. It's like losing progress or like yeah, losing a you checkpoint, save, making a decision. You ever save anxious? Your, you ever yeah. save oh. your like? mission you're on or whatever or like you're playing it and it just doesn't save completely yeah going through like the campaigns isn't fun you just have you're to just do constantly it constantly feeling tense yeah yep but i'd be nervous to play with my friends because i'd be so bad at the game it's like i couldn't even play with them but then there's like people say the better you get at games the less you like them yes mm -hmm. i agree with that I That's, think I progressively yeah, just look at enjoyed Ninja games less and less. Yeah, Ninja, yeah. yeah. He hates so it. So depressed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's true. He is miserable. Yeah, it's depressed true. man alive. Um, yeah, so video game is going to win four to two. Next, we have the 10 versus the seven. The 10 seed is Oreo Sleeves. Uh, I was talking about this with Clem. Clem is uh, uh, in or outside in the shower or not? <laughs> I forgot about that. Because, uh, a, nope, still haven't. <laughs> Did you see today? Someone, uh, fuck, are you garbage guys? We're talking no. about it. No, no. way. Where to God? They had a whole segment being like, you guys gotta try uh, Oreos shut. in the water. I swear to God, it came out today. <laughs> it's in so water? good. Water and Oreos are delicious. No, it just makes the cookie softer, right? Actually, yeah. I don't know. Maybe uh, I made Tommy try it. And he's he like, say? you were just standing in the shower with him. Because <laughs> when we did the short porch, I was like, just try it for me. Like, put it under your sink and do it and just tell me if you like it. And they were so mad that they liked it. Well, it's it's yeah. an Oreo. You're not changing the Oreo other than the texture. It makes it softer to eat. It makes yeah. it soft. The flavor like doesn't change. Yeah, I can see where you're going. Right. Yeah. Never have, I, I'm telling you, I, sometimes I leave an Oreo in my bathroom. That's fucking While weird. I shower so the steam gets it. See, that's crazy. That's insane. So good. Like where? What's the Oreo resting on? Like uh, your dirty sink? The sink's pretty clean. The soap dish. Yeah. <laughs> it's like so toilet your, seat. Your evaporated body stank is just like seeping into <laughs> the floors. On this I saw a guy yeah. today. Evaporated yeah. body I'm stank. It, <laughs> <laughs> I saw a guy. You said the toilet seat. It was a Reddit post of like a toilet seat for somebody that's very obese. Oh, I saw this that. This guy was just like, for scale, I, I didn't have anything, so he just put his glasses on the toilet <laughs> 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 You know what's been killing me in Trill Bowens had found this? I think I sent it to you. There's a Reddit where it's just it's just called TV Too High. Oh. There's people that mount their TVs too high up. In I had that. I had one of those. Did you? So yeah. fucking funny. It's one of the funniest Reddits ever. Yeah, me oh, and Grinnell had a TV that was too high. <laughs> Were you, did you have to like crane up to look at it? Yeah, it's, there's too lazy to, to move it, right? Like to do once it's in, it's just mounted. You're fucked. Like yeah. it's stuck there. Yeah, so well, they gotta get a task wrap it because if they do it, you can at least blame it on somebody. Yeah, I had the guy that mounted it too high. He bricked the first mount, and then the second one, he was just like, "Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't, I'm gonna come back." And we were like, "What? <laughs> I'm gonna come back?" He just ran yeah. away. He just is like, "I gotta go." And we were just like. What are you supposed to say? Yeah, you have nothing yeah. to say. Yeah, but like, all right. So you got to stay here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so that's going up against the number seven seed. Um, we'll just say chips. Uh, chips and salsa, Pringles included underneath this. You had Pringles, I think. A couple other people did as well. Um, chips, you do need to eat a decent quantity of them when they're presented in front of you. Um, so chips versus Oreo sleeves. Nick, you're first. That's brutal. I got a bag of sun chips in the kitchen this morning. Not this morning, like noon. Chip, good time to have chips bag of sun chips i was so embarrassed they were so fucking crunchy and i feel like people were like looking at remember me. when the bag was loud yeah that was a bad time Shh, and then just cr it's you can only do it alone eating i always feel guilty quiet like and when you're stuck in an attic hiding or something <laughs> on the, the loudest no, thing you ever do dude yeah <laughs> and frank could only have hiding yeah, yeah what you're fucking and frank and like yeah. what are you talking <laughs> about i loved lace Dude, <laughs> I think of a quiet situation off the top. Yeah. That's how they got Anne Frank. It was sour cream and onion Pringles. Yeah. Yeah. Is that fucking sun chips up yeah. there? Wait a minute. Yeah, the Anne, Germans. is that you? <laughs> That's got to be Anne. Yeah. Fucking Anne eating those Pringles. 
He's like, they're Germans addicting. Were, what can I say? The Germans Dude, start airdropping. Dude, the Germans chips. were like yeah, putting yeah, yeah, kettle yeah. chips, the crunchiest chips. Yeah. How they, that's how they were catching people. You have out. to like raise your volume on your TV because you're crunching too loud. Oh, yeah, of chips. course. Yeah. Like, Did your dad ever send you to get a bowl because you were eating a bag of chips? Yeah. And he would just point to where the bowls are. For <laughs> the, uh, I think the only thing that's louder is that the, the thing that they would have store-bought cakes in. You know that, like that, oh, the, the plastic, plastic, the cellophane. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the loudest noise ever Dude, made. It's him. shameful to be a fat fuck. <laughs> oh my god, that's so. Oh, yeah. I feel bad for him. Yeah, it's that, bad. Some of those plastic containers, like you get like a deli sandwich in it, or like you said, a cake. It's yeah. it, like you open that first class, but it's like a sonic boom. Yeah, yeah. it isn't. I don't know how it makes a, lot, a noise that loud. Yeah. Um, so Oreo sleeves or chips, Nick? I'm still gonna go chips, just because I like chips more than cookies. That's fair. We're yeah, I love Oreos. I haven't had them in a long time, but Marty, I, am I tripping or is there like a marshmallow Oreo? There's a probably soft, has to be. There's there like is. a soft Oreo. I remember it. It was like a oh, big, Oreo Cakester. Oh, cakes. Oh, Oreo soft. Cakes. Yeah, those that are was, great. It was big. Yeah, that was big. Oh, yeah, those yeah. are great. We've had them in the office sometimes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Those sometimes, are soft. Yeah, but sometimes they go too far, like the mega stuffed Oreos. I like agree. That's way much. too far. Yeah. 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 Either way, though, it's chips. I love. I fucking love chips. Two for chips. Um, I'll go with the chips as well. In between all these, because like there is a cap on. I think sh- there's a cap on sugar. For me, like when I'm eating something sugary, where I'm like, I, this feels fat to me. But when I'm eating like something um, more hearty or whatever, whatever you yeah, call chips it, chips are so unsatiating. They yeah. yeah, they are. So that too. Yeah. That's a huge part of it. Um, so that's three for chips. Easy chips for me. Chips this isn't even close. Is the this. number one food that's addictive, I think. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. My first job ever, I was a chipper at On the Border. I was just in charge of putting chips and salsa on the tables when people arrived. Chip. I was supposed to also be a busboy. First night, I went out with like a tray of oh. five things. Oh. Dropped legitimately You're everything. Below a busboy. Glasses going on the ground. Exactly. For so just- I went back and I told my manager, I said, I'll never bring out another piece of food ever again. <laughs> just so you know. And they yeah. said, you could do chips from here on out. So I'll go chips and salsa. Also, this might be a hot take. I actually like the opposite way on the double stuff. I like when they make the Oreo thins. Yeah, thin, thin Oreos are better. Great. I think thin anything for any food is better. I, I think agree. Thin is better. Like thin's fine, but I don't like the single stuffed. I like the double stuffed Oreo. Mm. I don't like double stuff. It's too much, much stuff cream. for me. Oh, I Whole love food that. should be tall. Yeah. <laughs> Good point. What about? Uh, that is I don't like a tall burger. Biting into Eat a tall it. burger. Oh, worst. Worst. oh it's It'll gross. It's the worst. That's the worst. You're like a pussy. Yeah. Like, yeah. What am I supposed to do with this thing? I, I get half the bun. I get like <laughs> yeah. the bottom bun in my bite. I'm like, oh, fuck. grease coming out of it. It's it emasculating like, to get bodied by a it burger. It is. Um, when pieces fly out of whatever, like with a burrito or whatever, like when pieces are coming out of the bottom. Yeah. You know I mean, I just, I hate that. Uh, so you're going with chips as well, KB. Marty? I'm, I'm. <sighs> Doesn't matter what I say, I guess, because it's, it's. I used to have a can of Pringles before every baseball game. Mm-hmm. I'd play five baseball games a week, so I, I was housing Pringles every single week. But your I, diet's insane, though. It makes no it? sense. Yeah, yeah, I, whole can tall size. Tall size. Oh, I thought oh, you just assume the mini one. I oh, thought it was yeah, that yeah, one. Next I would have barbecue Pringles. five tall size can Pringle cans boys? a week. <laughs> I was, I because it was became a thing where I was like, I was playing good, so I was like, I have to yeah. do it, and I also just love. Barbecue Pringles, so much. They got a few good Pringles. Oreos I actually are... don't hate the pizza Pringles. They weren't bad. Oh, yeah, are... those are fire. Sour cream and onion, I still oh, think. Is... I'll just go Oreos just because, but Oreos are so fucking good, too. They are. They're vegan, which still makes no sense to me. Oreos are? Yeah. No way. No I figured sense. the cream would have no, eaten something. it. Yeah. I dated someone who was vegan. It was like the only dessert I could eat while I was living with her. It made me want to fucking kill myself. I feel like vegans lie. It's... Just in general, yeah. <laughs> vegans lie. I just feel like they're like, oh, I like Oreos, so he'll never look it up. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like Oreos aren't even vegan. They, I, I look at them as a genre outside of food. Like, there's yeah. some sort of, like, chemical. Or chemical, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Agreed. Yeah. All right, number two seed versus 15 seed last matchup. Uh, two seed is social media, which I'm counting differently as internet access because they're different levels of necessities. The addiction to social media, I think, is way worse than the addiction to internet itself. Um, and then uh, that's going up against 15 seed, one of yours, compliments. Compliments. Hey, getting, look, explain that eight. if it's one of yours. Giving or getting? Getting. Getting compliments is addicting. Because giving is like, also, I'm kind of addicted to giving some because it's like fun complimenting someone, especially even if you're lying a little bit. I love hyping up the boys, so I, I get but that. That's fun, too. Yeah. Either yeah. way, I think giving or getting compliments. I is, just can't believe them. Yeah, but that's why it's also like getting it. Like You never believe it ever, but it's kind of fun to think about like someone actually thought about that of you. Mm-hmm. I, no, I, I would agree with him, especially if you were wearing something that someone compliments earlier in the day, and then a second person compliments that yes. thing. That's huge. Especially when you thought of it was cool. 
Yes. Yeah. And it's yes. like, all right, well, fuck, maybe I do know what I'm talking about. But then yeah. you get one be like, you look like a pussy. You're like, ah, fuck, I'm back. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> That's why it's a good little roller coaster sometimes. I, I think there's a good pick. Um, So we're going to do social media versus compliments, and you're first, Marty. Uh, I mean, I'm going to go social media because social media, you could, not mine, but you could get some compliments. <laughs> um, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going social media. Read a few compliments from that feed. You get yeah. a, I, yeah, I, only thing I've gotten compliments from is bringing back the KFC Double Down. Mm. Hey, we're doing some stuff with the Double Down, too, so yeah, look out for that. Yeah. They, they DM me saying you're getting, you're getting some. I think I could say it. Pop Punk wrote a song for the Double Down. Yeah. Yeah, I think I am. Uh, Pretty sick. Good thing I said I liked it. Yeah. Yeah. Fact. <laughs> yeah. I guess someone you someone else didn't. Wait. <laughs> you see that? That was so funny. <laughs> the only two things I think gets Marty compliments is that and this. The, the yeah. bracket. This is the old, oh, I told you always, it's fuck Marty, but he's actually pretty good on this. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to say the first part. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Leave it out. <laughs> fuck Marty Mush till it's backwards. Yeah. Man, he had me laughing. Yeah, it's <laughs> cracking up at this guy. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Jeez, yeah. uh, KB. Yeah, it's social media, but I think the addiction of social media is essentially compliments via. That's true. Well, that's a good point. Numbers, good point. All that shit, That's a very good point. Very unhealthy, why else do people have? Why yeah. are you tweeting anything? Mm -hmm. Right. Because you it's want social, people to agree yeah. with you. Exactly. Right? Social media. Social media, Robbie. I think social media is more addicting, but like I'd rather have a day full of good compliments than the best day on social media. I think mm -hmm. if a day of like a dozen people walking up to you and being like what you did was fucking awesome is way better than a hundred people on social media saying the same i would probably have to go with social media though because in terms of addictions i'm not like walking around like i can't wait to get a compliment yeah i am walking around like i need to see what's on twitter yeah. right now. have you had yeah. some a fan come up to you once and like just like saying something specifically you've done that was so weird like you don't even remember you doing it but you're like oh fuck yeah that was kind of good oh that's the that best feels yeah. great best feeling yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So I'm I'm going to social media as well, Rudy. Yeah, I agree with Robbie. It's like the social media is more of a dialysis machine that is available yeah. at all times. Yep. And so, but the compliments are objectively better. It's just a problem of access. Yeah, yeah. You, don't, you don't control you don't control the supply to a certain extent unless you do unless you post gas. Mm. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's one of those things you can't really. You pursue or you can pursue it but you can't really expect you can fish it. for it you can, yeah you can fish or whatever so it's harder like in terms of the true addiction like robbie said it's definitely social media It'd be cool to have a compliment plug pay a guy like 20 dollars yeah month. but the problem though with that is that the only way to get it is like a true one is uh, yeah then it ain't a real compliment it ain't real oh so, my idea of the compliment broker here would be he would hire someone or pay well, you don't know about life. it. Yeah, you pay someone in your life to do it, but you don't know who it is. I like that. So you maybe yeah. or maybe even like m multiple people. It's yeah. just like you could you could get a like, hey, I'm putting out a new video. I want to get some compliments on. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. You go to the compliment broker. He's like, I got five guys that'll yeah. mention, and and you don't know which ones they are. You just know, all right, five of those were fake. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, Nick, so is this the last first yes. round? There's a glaring omission. Ooh, what do we miss? Making people laugh. Oh, that's wow. a good one. You want to keep that we, going. We did this. We had making people laugh on a previous one. Making the boys laugh, I think. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's always the, the same fucking laugh. thing. There's one good so thing in the world. addicting. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, let's go to social media. Social media. Yeah, I don't like compliments uh, at all. They make me very uncomfortable. Yeah. That's fair. That's There's big of you, many, bro. I've like always liked when, that about you. When you tweet something in a group chat, I text something in a group chat, and every single person does the ha-ha. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. An, that's an incredible feature. Mm -hmm. And you get a compliment on text, or if it's written in text, sometimes you yeah. don't know how to respond. And I that's where you can be I don't know how to do it. Like, I'm just like, I'm, I'm yawning. I don't, I'm, I'm, <laughs> that's how my body's reacting right now. You brought the camera over to him just to yawn. Son oh, of a bitch. Up, yeah. Uh, okay, so that's the... When well, we get into the playoffs, now we can run through them. Number... <laughs> I just forgot about this. Number four, see cranking your hog slash uh, porn versus Pez dispensers. Uh, <laughs> Blow out. <laughs> Pez really uh, made Pez that way in the there. They slipped into of addictive thing. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Uh, Nick, you're up for he's gonna vote it. <laughs> I don't like porn. <laughs> I, I'm Pez all the way. I don't Pez? like. I don't like Pez. porn. I don't, Get the I fuck out of here. Into us. What are you not? talking about? I like. I like. I, don't like, I it. like. I believe you don't. When was the last time you had a Pez? A you don't act like you're why you love Pez. I don't, but I'm saying like when you get it you finish the whole sleeve i don't finish the whole film <laughs> decent point decent <laughs> point yeah, it's not i've good. never made it through a full porno 
The worst porno is better than the best Pez. That's mm. no. No. Oh, no, 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 no. I've not seen the worst porno. I've not seen the worst porno. God, no. The worst porno is worse than anything. Dude, that yeah. was bogus. That. Yeah. Uh, Pez. One for Pez, Rudy. Uh, yeah, no, it's it's uh, definitely beating your shit. Beating your shit. Um, I'll go with cranking it as well. Getting that cum out of your dick. Yeah, I'm not going to say I like to say getting the venom out. I always like that. Because yeah. it's true. Choking it, the chicken. It is venom in your system that getting you need. The yogurt release. slinger. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> yogurt <laughs> slinger. Uh, yogurt. Don't bring. Don't talk about yogurt. Throw the yogurt. Why? Yogurt's the grossest word in the human language. You ever That's heard George say, Carlin talk about it? Me out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, KB. That. I'm not even saying it. Flogging the bishop. What? Flogging the bishop. That's a good one. Yeah, that's old school. Yeah. Pez all the way. Pez all the way. All the way. Four to two in favor of cranking the hog. Five knuckle shuffle. Oh. That may, I like that one. Uh, <laughs> Damn, Robbie. <laughs> you know, how many more do you know? I got a couple. There's one about baby batter, I remember, but I didn't like oh. that. Oh. Don't bring that into it. Yeah. Going like this to somebody in an argument's good, though. Yeah. One of my yeah. favorites. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, so internet versus the snooze. Hitting the snooze button. Marty. Oh, my God. That's really tough because that they both stop my day. Mm. Yeah, you know, and it's just it's definitely the internet. You can't. Is that what we're talking about? Yes. Yeah, internet. Internet. I don't know how how do we separate this from social media? Yeah, I can't do that. I don't. So know. there's non-essential parts of the internet that don't involve social Wikipedia, media. Wikipedia, Wiki, like shit, like Wikipedia, online shopping, Yo Guesser, like Yo Guesser. So. Ooh, the controversy tab on people's Wikipedia. Yeah, I love Wikipedia. Nice one. Mm -hmm. um, Wikipedia is the best. Yeah. I think chemically it would be the alarm <laughs> for a like. A, no, it wouldn't. It's still. A, I could go a day. I can go days without that experience, though. I can't go days without. Oh yeah, it's the internet. It's the internet, Robbie. See, I go back and forth because I agree with what you just said. I could go days without the sensation of snoozing a bunch, but not the internet. But at the same time. I'm not addicted enough to the internet to stop myself from snoozing in the morning. The first thing I want to do in the morning is snooze before I want to go on the internet. Mm. So I'm actually going to flip it around. I'm going to go snoozing. Yeah, I'm f that's what I'm saying. Like, You're going on the internet way more than snoozing. Yes, but... But chemically, I would, brain if, if both options more. were presented to me in the moment in of the mo I'm yeah. sleepy, you could go on the internet immediately the second you wake up or you could hit, get five more minutes of sleep. I'm like, give me that five more minutes of sleep. Mm-hmm. I like that. That was a good explanation. I'm still going to internet though, th three to one. Yeah, I, I'm with Robbie because I'm thinking about the the ple like the I don't really derive pleasure from the internet. It's just something that is it's there and you there need it. and we do it all. We we it's a part of our life. Whereas there is a wouldn't it be pleasure because you know you have to go like you're only going on it for that pleasure, right? But Not always. You're going on it for like I have to necessity, go on it. Yeah, like hey, a so bill. That's an addiction. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. No. Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> the realizations right there. Might be addicted to the internet, boys. Yeah, uh. yeah. <laughs> I only do. I don't like it. I only do it because I fucking have to. <laughs> <laughs> it's not an addiction, though. It's not a fucking addiction. I have to. <laughs> Enzo Washington in plane. He's just like, oh, fucking, I'm not addicted. I just need the <laughs> beer before I fucking. I could stop it anytime I wanted. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I still like there's the snooze. I think in this in the sake of the conversation and the and the bracket, I think that the snooze button is is tough to put down. Send it through. Sending it through. Snoo yeah, I'm not fighting for three more minutes of internet. I've moved my alarm from nine to nine oh three. Mm. Wait, yeah. did you pick snooze? I didn't, but I I'm fine with it winning. I'm did fine. you just sway it because we were just tied? So now. I'm going snooze. You want me to? I can change. You can switch if you yeah, want. If not, it'll be. Social media is in there. That I'll take. I'll put in snooze. Interesting. So snooze is gonna be, uh, beat the internet. All right. So snooze button versus cranking the hog. Uh, Nick. Snooze. One for the snooze. I snooze a lot more. I gotta go snooze. Two for snooze. Uh, I'll go with cranking it. This one's another easy one for me. I snooze way more. This is like uh, uh I'll I'll hammer that snooze like I'm cranking it. Okay, so three to three to one in favor of snooze. Yeah, snooze. Yeah, snooze. Marty also. Snooze is in the finals on the other side. We have the bingeable series versus the video game. Marty. Oh, yeah, it's easy bingeable for me. Like, Sons of Anarchy was one of my oh yeah like, ones that I really binged, and I was I thought I was Jax Teller after it. I like I like becoming the character for I don't I wouldn't tweet it out all the time, but you know I would just. 
go, walk around thinking you're the leader of a motorcycle gang. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Like I was, I was them. No, I, I agree. Yeah. For Halloween. Of course. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. Yeah. yeah. Bingeable. Bingeable series. I think bingeable series as well. Like video games for me, at least eventually I'm like, all right, I have to put this thing down. I don't have that same thing for a series. Yeah. I think I'd go for bingeable for the same reasons. Um, Rudy. This is tough because they kind of occupy. I binge both, so like they both sort of occupy the same thing in my brain. But I have much more of an appetite for video games because there's more of an intimate experience, and Active. I'm more attached to the experience. What like are you my, playing these days? Huh? What are you playing these days? A lot of FIFA, um, but I do FIFA career mode only, and I basically cosplay. Like I live oh, a whole of second life yeah, yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, isn't like, what isn't like the in-game shit ruining FIFA? That's 2K, I think, more than anything. Uh, it's yeah. storylines and stuff, yeah. It's like opposites. Like 2K, they have like way too much content in terms of the in-game. Like you have to go and like... It's, my girlfriend got cheated on me with a player I got drafted with. Yeah, like, and then and then FIFA's the opposite. What is, it, what is like the decks or the... That's uh, that's, that's, that's FIFA. That's, that is FIFA. Yeah, yeah. that is and Madden. Ulti- that's Ultimate Team. I had to I had to hard quit that because that will ruin your life. I heard that's what it, it was ruining people's lives. It will They're ruin shit tons of money on mentally it. and financially. Yeah, uh, I had to quit that. But I the FIFA is actually kind of nice because it's so bare bones that you're able to do fan fiction in your own head, hmm. yeah. which is more fun. But then like Red Dead Redemption Two brought emotions out of me that no human being or show has Great ever. Game. So for me, it's video games. Video games. You have to at least have some sort of skill to like progress in a video game. A uh, TV show that you're binging, it, you are turning off your brain from whatever is going on. You don't. You're hardly human. You are just there to absorb. Existing. You're a plant. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, it's awesome when it happens. So bingeable series on the other side: social media versus chips. <laughs> it's a great matchup. It's <laughs> tough. Uh, nah, it's it's social media. I don't really like. I don't. It has to be. It has to be. But I, like, I don't even like it. I, I no. don't like it. Still need to do it. Yeah. There's like, I don't tweet really very often. I don't really post on Instagram. But I like. I don't even quite like looking. But like as soon as I grab my phone, just I don't even think. Just click Twitter, scroll yeah. up, scroll up, and I don't even know if I'm reading any of it. No. No, you never are. It's just like to get rid of that notification red dot. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna go social media here, but I don't think it's very strong. Social media. Yeah, I'll go social media just because if you look like if you look at like what addiction actually is, like there's moments where I'm don't even realize that I'm like mm-hmm. in the middle of doing something and I'm still scrolling the next TikTok with my other hand. Mm-hmm. And it's like, whoa. There's never a moment where I'm like didn't even realize I was eating salt and vinegar chips for the last twenty minutes. Yeah. yeah. TikTok, by the way, is that's the number one on this list. Sometimes you do lose a little track of how many chips you eat. Yeah, but you're never in the middle of it, didn't even remember in the beginning. Yeah, bags, bags <laughs> fuck yeah. you with that though, because they're all half full. So yeah. like you, you like eat like half the the actual portion they give you. And like how did I just eat three fourths a of a bag chips. of chips? They're the smartest people in the world. They, it's they all nitrogen or whatever. Chips in there, but you're like it's the best. Yeah, so it's social media. For me. Shit on me if I'm wrong here. I think TikTok is more of the binging category than social media category because I'm not being social on it, and it's True. not my friends. True. That's yeah, I guess so. I guess, but it is considered, I guess, social media. It is, like yeah. Binging on social media. Do you find it a little weird if social media is not your job and guys are making TikToks? Yeah, but I, I don't know, know if I would if I didn't work here. When I was like trying to tweet and go viral, I know my friends at home were like making fun of me. They had to. Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely. for sure. But when it's your job, it's, yeah. to- like, oh, it's, it's totally different. To yeah. yeah. I would for like my friend, like stuff to, to make, use the tools make, to make stuff to send to You do have to yeah. start somewhere. Yeah. Like, Oh, yeah. I don't, I don't know. I wouldn't. Yeah, try one of my TikTok. boys, like thirty years old, was like doing TikTok vlogs. I would. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I wouldn't, hey, I buddy, wouldn't be take it down. <laughs> You'd be sending that to your other boys in the group like, chat, yeah, and roasting them. Look at this pussy. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, it's a hurdle. <laughs> yeah, making like NASCAR videos or regional hockey. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I like when people have a, a specific interest. I think yeah. that's cool. Yeah, that and yeah, but like, it's because you can tell when someone is posting something for the uh, the. Uh, solely for the attempt of getting viral right. likes versus like versus you can very much tell someone like Rainbow on Joyce or he just yeah. fucking you'd post if he loves got, this yeah. post if he got two likes or he got a million likes wouldn't care same post yeah, it's same it's posting. very easy to tell like the purity of someone's right, interest yeah. like they would That's do it to see, an like audience seeing a zero. Castellani Tigers video yes exactly yeah, yeah. Like that guy no one cares about the Tigers, but this guy does. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. he, good for him. Yeah, like a review bra who we've talked about a few times. Oh yeah, know. like he would post his food review videos if it doesn't matter how many people were talking about it. Um, okay, so social er, 
social media as three right now as I'm voting for it too, Robbie. Have to vote social media. I love chips and salsa. I wish I could vote for them. I feel like you're asking me to pick like who would win a fight between your grandma and Ronda Rousey. It's like, mm-hmm. All right, it has to be Ronda Rousey, I guess, but I don't like it. Right, mm-hmm. that's how I am. Maybe yours as well. Yep, it's social media. It's all right, social media versus bingeable show. I'm, I'm. Remember, it's not what's more, what's better. Yeah, it's, it's not what's yeah. better. It's, it's what's, what's more addictive. addictive. Yeah, but. It's tough because bingeable shows sometimes, like I don't even, especially now you don't even have to press next episode. Mm-hmm. It's just like you're just sitting there. You don't even know you're six episodes in. And I really just keep waiting. You're wanting more, wanting more. But sometimes I use, I'm addicted to social media because like, like you're on the airport line. You don't know what to do with anything. You just look at your phone. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it's social media. It's one for social media, KB. Yeah, it's, it, it is. It's- I'd love to say it's shows, but it is. Joke. I think I'm going to try to make the argument for shows here, and it goes back to Nick's point earlier of shows being the only time you put down your phone, you put down social media. I also don't have, like Marty said, if you're in the line for something or something, you pull up social media just because it's what you do. But I don't have like an urge or like a, I need to see what's on Twitter. With bingeable shows, I do have the urge of like even that 15 seconds in between episodes of I need to see what happens mm-hmm. next. Yeah. I think I have more of an addiction to a bingeable show than I do social media. Okay. I think social media is more of a necessity because I have a paranoia about like missing something for work and getting fired. Mm. But I think I'm actually more addicted to bingeable shows. Yeah. yeah and I it's become, it's like a race with your friends. Like you don't want to fall behind. Yes. You want to yeah. finish it. You don't want to get yeah. spoiled. I I didn't, like the paranoia of getting spoiled. Work yeah. Because yeah. working here makes you always, because like you said, yeah. If objectively for us. You know, if you yeah. went off your phone, Conor McGregor would like, Kill someone or something. Yeah, it's like saying like uh like what what's more addicting, like work or shows? And it's like you have to do work. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you're doing that constantly, but other people are doing it that aren't it's not their job. And I think for yeah. them it's as yeah, I was fact. more addicted before when way yeah. more. I was posting a lot. Yeah. 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 Agreed. It was way worse. Um I'll go for social as well. Three to one, uh, in favor of social, Rudy. I'm with Robbie because I can put down social media and I think that I enjoy that. I can I can curtail it and control it. Yeah. And I have in the past because I know that it interrupts like of of thought, you know. But with the bingeable shows, this is timing wise crazy because I'm like I said with this Hitler thing, I am allowing it to der- make my life considerably worse. Last night I was dozing off and I managed to keep myself awake and effectively nuke my day today because i couldn't stop that's yeah also true. and i'm sure you're thinking about it already like when i go home i'm gonna watch some more of those and not wait and you're probably not thinking about i can't wait to go on twitter tonight like yeah it's just a thing you do but you're addicted yeah, but i to think the, that that's, that's part of the argument yeah argument because i 100 percent true love for the things. tv show but i'm talking about the direct negative impact and there's a greater negative impact on a bingeable show right? like you're feeling more of a withdrawal personally from a show yes network. exactly it it uh yeah, so I'm going to go bingeable. All right, three to two in favor of social. Nick. Bingeable. Bingeable. Oh. It's going to come down to the Gooch Man. Oh. I'll scroll and I'll I'll get bored on like Twitter after like 50 minutes, an hour. But like with a show, like I will sit there and I will binge five straight 50 minute episodes, no problem. And I think that's we're it. Mixed up. I think we're getting this mixed up here. About what? I think they're saying oh. they have less control. Yeah, no, I, I, I literally have less control. Yeah. I, I have literally less control over the binge. It, I, it's I, wild though, because like if there was a five hour movie, I'm never watching that. Mm. Yeah. Five yeah. one hour episodes, yeah. one yeah. night. Easy. Yep. Because you Agreed. know it's one hour. Yeah. yeah. But it's not. <laughs> yeah, well it's serialized, it just makes it easier, I think. Um so you're going with the binge, Gooch? Yeah, binge. Binge versus the snooze button. Hitting the snooze, Nick. The finals. If we're talking about control, okay, well, we'll see. Yeah. If there's somewhere I need to be, I will wake up just fine. If there's no, I don't even know if it's considered snoozing if you haven't, you're not running late or you're not like, you don't have somewhere to be. Hmm. Uh, I'm going binging. There's, when you're locked into a binge, it's, it's not even like bliss. It is, you're not you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's ironic because binging is an actual, I guess, addiction, like the other type of binging. Yeah, like food <laughs> yeah. or anything. Like, yeah. Uh, Rudy. But the argument, now you're making me think, the argument, though, of the snooze is to quite literally go unconscious. Yeah. Mm. Which is pretty dope. So sick. Uh, this is 
I'm in a pretzel. So am I. I, I don't know what I'm going to decide. Uh, this is really I, tough. I think, yeah, I think I have a. Have you ever, like, woke up early to watch a show, though? Oh, yeah. Like, didn't, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Like, yeah. I can fit in another episode before work. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I, I think. <sighs> Sometimes that morning episode's sick. I think that I could. I, I, I've been able to manage the show thing. Never in my life have, it, have I truly been able to, other than if it's an, for an important event, been able to handle the, the snooze. Mm-hmm. So I think that I have just personally have less of a, a less of a handle on the snooze, so I have to go snooze. I've never done heroin yet, but like whenever I was into yeah, Game of Thrones, you have to say yeah. You could just say. Whenever I was into Game of Thrones, that theme song, I was like, oh, <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, dude, uh, yeah. I, got, I, I think I have to go snooze though, just because I, I don't think I have as much control over it, which is makes it more of an addiction, I suppose. I would go. I'm gonna go with binge because I do think, as far as like control goes, like I can wake up. Like once I'm up, I'm up. Like I, it's hard for me to snooze, honestly, anyway. Um, so binge, it's definitely way less control. I don't know what I have less control over because I'm a heavy sleeper. Like once I start snoozing, it's a ball that gets rolling and can't stop. This dude, we flew home from Chicago. And I tell yep. us all the time. We flew home from Chicago. This one of the worst fucking turbulence I've ever had in my entire life. This dude was knocked out the entire time. <laughs> and we, get, we had to land in a different airport. We landed in Connecticut. And he gets up to leave. Yeah, I got like, up to get off the plane. <laughs> he was like, you got to sit down. Yeah, we're I was like, dude, we're right. not even in the right, right airport yet. I was 3G influenced. Yeah, that's fair. For sure. Something about planes. They, I, I love sleeping on planes. Something can't. about that like yeah. vibration. and It's like, a fear that takes over and it's just like, exactly. I, I might be passing out. <laughs> I think that's what it yeah. is. When it it takes like, off, that's the most yeah. comfortable position. For yeah. Me. yeah. Oh. There's something I find so comfortable yeah. about Pushing you back yeah. a little bit. Oh, that's the That's best. true, yeah. yeah. When you're being... should always oh. stay like that, yeah. That's the back. best position. That's why I think Ooh. I can go to the moon. I, I honestly <laughs> one day hope I'm rich enough to have a, fl- a fuselage in my house. Because there's something about them that is so comforting to me. <laughs> it's going to live in like a, a, a just a dead 747. Yeah, just a few... Dude, that, they're the Strap. best places to chill. There's something about it. Do you guys ever get uh, airplane boners? No. no. Never. What? Boner when you go on a plane? Yeah, I get them in cars too. What? Cars, oh, yeah. yes. I think you guys are just getting boners. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Random boners you setting got? matters in. But I get them oh. every time you fly. Specifically because of planes, you think? Yeah, planes, Ugh. I get a lot. I think of I've sat next to you on a flight. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of boners. You travel and like sweats? Most people do. Uh, Comfy? Yeah. I have been a big worry is I sleep on planes a lot and I get boners on planes a lot that I just am sleeping with just that hard. Be that'd be the funniest. Non real thing to yeah, look over. Be a and the guy next as hard as a rock. <laughs> <laughs> so hard. Look at this sicko. It's just Rudy with yeah. the boner. Yeah. <laughs> you would be the next viral guy. We would have to do like blogs on you. Anyway, yeah. Anyway, yeah, next guy. I, I think I want to go bingeable shows. I think I enjoy that more. I think if I'm being true to myself, I have less control over the snooze and I let that come over me too yeah, much. So same. I got to go snooze. I think it's snooze. easier to take a break from the series than to not get that extra 10 minutes if you can. Mm-hmm. All right. That's fair. So we're I won't be late snooze. to work because I was watching a show ever. Yeah. They're three to two now in favor of snooze. Marty. I'm, I'm bingeable. I'm bingeable because when I snooze, I'm like only thinking about how much time I have left on the snooze. Mm-hmm. So I That's can never true. actually sleep during it. But it still does feel good. But I would be late for work if I was watching a show. I need to finish that episode. Mm-hmm. All right, so we're three to three. Gooch, we get to break the tie for the final. If I may there. plead a case here, the deal breaker for me is why I ch- bingeable. It feels like somewhat productive. Yes. I don't feel That's guilty true. when I'm I, when I'm binge for some reason. I feel I the s- opposite though about snoozing is I feel like a piece of shit for doing it and I do it anyway. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Fuck. That's where I'm like I'm addicted. Yeah, Damn. yeah shit. Also, I think what Rudy said too, like when it's like 1 a.m. and you know you can fall asleep and you're like I need to like I'm staying awake like this because I need to <laughs> yeah. fucking see. Yeah, what it is. I it's like that's where I'm like I am totally addicted to this. Shit. Yeah, I, I I would actually argue the other way, which is against my point, where I think that. It's like this. If I hit the snooze button, I think that there is a net gain because I'm I'm Thanks, resting. More. You are resting. Yeah, you're recharging more. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. So it's a good. At least it's a good final. Yeah, it's a good. Yeah, final. Very good. Final. Very good final. A lot of good up. points. I gotta go hanging with the boys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, Gooch. 
Yeah, I mean, I, I love sleeping, but I will sacrifice every hour of sleep if I find a show I like. I love that. I'll, I'll sit Can't and watch it. Can't even be mad. Can't be mad. Fair enough. Yeah, that's a good, fair enough. That's that's a very good. fair. This is the fairest ending I think of any episode bracket, we've ever had. Yep. Respect yep. to all gentlemen Great involved. Matchups. I'm going to shake everyone's hand when we yeah, get yeah, out of here. Yeah. Yeah. I have no yeah. Take our hats off. Yeah. Shake everyone's hand. They play Bowman after this on AddictingGames.com. Yeah. Rudy's going to be hard as a rock. Yeah, Rudy's going to grab an Uber home and just get hard. When Shay's not here, he's our resident boner guy. Essentially here. Do you guys ever get a random boner when you're fucking? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the winner of episode 67, uh, Most Addictive Non-Drug Things, is Binging a TV Show. We will see you guys next week. Wow.